Hello, peoples. Hello. Hi. Let us know if you can hear us. Olivia, yeah. this is this white box. This white box is Olivia. Um, Olivia's internet at her school went down. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna see if that comes back up, and if it comes back up, we'll take a break and add her to the stream so that she can do the playing with us. Yeah. Oh, hi, K-Squared! Hi, Nana Machine! Hi, Luca! Luca, shouldn't you be asleep? <laughs> I, whenever I see you, I just assume you should be asleep, Luca. <laughs> Constantly taking a nap. I love it. No, he, they're just never sleeping, and they need to oh. be. It's Go to sleep. What time is it there right now? One in the morning. Yeah, go to bed, Luca. My God. How is everybody doing today? Let me re-retweet my tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. It's all fine. I know what I'm doing. A hundred thousand percent of the time. Luca! Luca! My god! Uh. Oh yeah, I wrote down a whole thing of what I'm supposed to do. So I didn't just space off. But, but we're here! We're live! We're live! We're hoping Olivia will end up joining us sooner rather than later. And then you'll see me, like, quickly switch to a screen that doesn't make any sense for the game that we're playing as I change the overlay desperately. That's, that's what you have to look forward to. Um, <laughs> so, I guess we'll start with introducing ourselves, and then we'll introduce our characters, and then we'll do other stuff. Does that sound? You, you, sounds good. You probably, you probably know me. I'm Allie. Uh, this is my channel. You're here. <laughs> I, no. I, I don't stop, can't stop, won't stop making <laughs> gifts. <laughs> um, Aaron, you're right next to me on this screen. You go. <laughs> okay, um, I also, you probably also know me, I'm Aaron. Serotonia. I'm a, I'm the mod who always is harassing Ellie and Chad. Aaron's the worst person on this entire planet. Oh. <laughs> Bet you play games with me. Uh, yet you still come and mod my chat for me. <laughs> oh, Zen, thank you for the biddies. Also, the bot is down because my computer is literally screaming with how much CPU that I'm using. Oh, wait, no, the bot is up. Wow, the bot is up. I lied. <laughs> Uh, al alerts are down, because I'm using old OBS, not Streamlabs OBS. But the bot is working, so if I yell at you, Zen, you can use the bot. Ooh, we're only at 90% CPU right now. My god, I feel blessed. <laughs> oh, no, I spoke too soon. I'm gonna close that and stop looking at it. <laughs> um, anything else, Erin? Um, no. Uh, they, she pronouns, I guess. Alright, Amadea, you go. Okay, um, I'm Amadea, uh, they, them, um, Marimo, most places online, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm not very exciting. Lies. <laughs> Huge lies. They are the cutest. They are the cutest. No, I'm not. I'm Jen, Jen is the cutest. Amadea is a, the, a very cute and incredibly cute. And almost oh. incomparably cute. Hurts my <laughs> heart. Cute. They're I'm so very cute. Scary. Oh yes, I'm so scared of how cute you are. Mm -hmm. It's like almost too gonna be too much for my heart. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> Anything else? Nope. All right, Jen. I'm scary. You're not no. scary. Calm down. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hi, I am Jen, I use she or pronouns, and Allie and I go to the same college, and we're friends there, guys. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, she might be my friend, like, I might love her a whole lot and think that she's the very cute baby. But... Allie definitely didn't text me over Twitter, like, be part of this stream. I definitely didn't be like, 
look, you can come and you can be so cute because you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely didn't happen. I love Allie. They're great. But yeah, I think that's it. There's, that's all there is to me, I think, right? There's nothing else I have I to say. I don't know. I don't know. Like, what do you say? I'm not in your head. <laughs> Thankfully. I'm Jen. She or pronouns. That's, that's about it. All right, all right, and now we're gonna introduce our characters. Uh, we rolled up our characters. We haven't rolled up them all yet. Uh, we'll get into like more stuff after we build like our setting and stuff. But I'll introduce my character. Um, my character is Ona. Uh, his name is actually Jonas, but he's like extra. Um, okay, but is he a fan of the Jonas Brothers? No, and he hates his name and he thinks it sounds too religious, so he goes by Ona. Mm. And then I, I rolled scene kid, but then I was like, what if instead, what if, hear me out, what if instead he was just a beauty Instagrammer? <laughs> <laughs> what if instead he was just a beauty Instagrammer who liked really bright colors? I like it. I like so it. So he has like, then calm down. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, I got lost in what I was saying. Uh, so basically, like, bright hair colors change in a lot, makeup, uh, oh yeah, uh, he works for mall security, mm -hmm. um, and so, like, my headcanon for, like, his job in mall security is he, like, doesn't uniform up, he, like, gets to go wander the Sephora to watch for shoplifters. Okay. Um, because people, like, don't think to just, like, hide the fact that they're shoplifting near him until he busts them. Mm hmm Uh, because he looks like he belongs there. Hi, Jenny! Like <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's Ona. That, that him. That my boy. He pretty. He a pretty baby. <laughs> who, who uses social media like as much as me, but in a very different way than me. <laughs> Not I a Twitter that. shit poster, but just constantly on Instagram. <laughs> alright, alright, tell me about Izzy. Uh, Izzy. Dumb as hell. What a mood. Which are on overlay. Um um, they work in Burger King. I stay back in two weeks. Super protective, but fucking dumb. But like a last contest for grill. Oh, free burns. Oh. Uh, she's back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aaron, I think your audio is cutting out a little bit. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was clear. That was. That was like the clearest thing you've said in like the past minute. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello, headphones. Wait a minute. <laughs> There we go. I have my... Yay! Fuck. Um... <laughs> okay. Um... But they're really into MMA fighting and they want to become a stunt double. Oh, I love that. Nice. All right, anything else about Izzy? Oh, uh, yeah. And their goal, they want to ask someone out. Oh, so I want... <laughs> someone's getting forwarded with, again. I want to I wanna find secrets. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Tell us about Charlie. Tell us about okay. Charlie. Uh, Charlie. They use David pronouns. They work in more security. They... Uh, they're kind of really artsy, they like to take photos of things, they're really into film photography and some of the cool stuff you can do with that. 
and so they're saving up to get um, get like darkroom equipment and supplies because I mean otherwise they really wouldn't have a job because the jobs are working for the man and that's just not <laughs> not their style but um, yeah you gotta get money get the equipment and then they can go and live in an abandoned shack somewhere and be a starving art be fine um, their parents aren't impressed with their plan but it's what they're gonna do um, okay. so their thing is they're gonna they want to discover a secret they really liked the um I don't know if you know of the post secret art project where people send in secrets and anyone on the internet can read it and it's a really cool art venture so if they got a really cool secret then they might be able to make cool indie art with it and it would be really cool hmm. yeah so that's them awesome we love you. Arlo Arlo tell us about <laughs> Arlo so my character name is Arlo I love them they're great so they use they them pronouns um, they have dark purple hair and green eyes specifically. They're short and squishy. Um, wow, not taken from life at all. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> um, is hella stubborn. Um, they work at the game store. Is a scene kid with black lipstick and black nail polish all day. Hi, call me the fuck out, Jen. Um, uh, the goal is to ask out Natasha, who is a popular girl at school or whatever and who works who actually works in mall security and Arlo just has the biggest crush on her ever and oh and would specifically murder someone for a tub of glitter like Arlo loves glitter a lot <laughs> glitter is the same yup I am um, not projecting at all Amadea's character may have been the sweetest baby angel girl last time mm -hmm. And she had so much glitter, and it was blessed. <laughs> it was truly, truly a blessed time. They made the best, like, sweet character. Everyone was like, we would die. We, we would perish. Mm -hmm. we What's saved everyone's an, favorite? We saved an entire mall <laughs> just to keep <laughs> Harriet from being sad. Oh. If y'all have not seen that, please catch the VOD, because truly a blessed, blessed baby. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so now we're going to do relationships, which we're going to uh, go around and say how we know one other character. So we're not going to define all the relationships, but we're just going to kind of make one connection each. Mm -hmm. Um... So, oh gosh, I didn't actually plan this. I forgot what I was doing next, and then I looked down at my sticky note. Um, <laughs> uh, what do I even, I don't, I don't even know. Um, I feel like Ona probably knows Charlie from school. I think that they, like, took and like a higher level art class together mm. that like wasn't really what Charlie wanted to be doing and Charlie was like I would much rather be taking photographs of this art <laughs> edgy photos instead of painting an apple yeah and then Ono was like I would rather be painting makeup onto my face instead of doing art oh yeah and so they just kind of sat there being like Highly artistic, but not fitting into this classroom environment. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's gonna be Ona's relation, like connection. Okay. We also work together. Yeah. Well. Both. Yeah. I, I'm like pulling yeah. on something a little bit more. Yeah. We definitely know each other from working together. I don't know if we like each other a super ton, but like we yeah, have been I'm around sure each do. other. Yeah for a decent amount. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what about Izzy? Who does Izzy know? Oh. Free to just irely. Listen, um, thinking that thousands. Aaron, I'm so have... sorry, but you're like half cutting out again. <laughs> <laughs> there. It 
fine. <laughs> How many pairs of headphones do you have? I'm very impressed. <laughs> I have two, and I'm going to switch between them until one of them works. This is actually working okay right <laughs> now. <laughs> hey, Bridget, don't run. I know. <laughs> Just regular in ears, and I have my cactus. Yeah, I saw a picture of those. They're so cute. Okay, let's see if Aaron can not cut out. Ultimate challenge. Feel free to say no, but he and Ona are cousins, and it's up to Ona how he feels about them. Um, sure. I think that, like... Okay, wait. Here, here's a question. Is, like, Izzy into, like, fighting in, like... Because, like, does Izzy get into fights is the first question. She... Please seek them out. Tell her to meet. They'll show up. And then... I... So... Please out at the MMA. So then, is is Izzy a fighter in like fights in like a, just a scrappy way or like a rough and tumble lesbian kind of way? Is my second <laughs> part of that question. <laughs> Can I say she's really fucking gay? Um, I guess she's all right. I guess he'll like associate with that aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy kind of thinks Ona's a does not understand her thing for makeup. She really that it. Yeah, he can respect like a like butch aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> he can't respect like a not like a no point to no looking good aesthetic, aka what I do. I'm just like, I'm here, <laughs> and Ona would be like, mm, I don't know, are you here? <laughs> Questionable. It's like the same, in the same three pairs of change of face. Yeah, it, it, you're on thin ice with Ona, but like, you're family, so it's like, alright. Like, okay, I guess we'll admit that we're <laughs> oh do they have the same last name that's very important when you're in high school together whether you have the same last name or not because then you're forced to like answer questions as to whether you're associated with each other Erin, okay. um... keep your microphone not far away from your face I can see you like dropping it <laughs> I didn't see you doing it, and then you cut out! <laughs> Fam! Yeah. It was, my hands are bored! <laughs> Drop the other side of your headphones, then. <laughs> Do they have the same last name? Oh, they have the same first part of their last name, but Izzy's last name is hyphenated. Okay, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Perfect. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Not oh, entirely over. All right, Charlie. Charlie, who does Charlie know? Um, I'm going oh, to say. Sad. Hmm. <laughs> Just trying to think where maybe just Arlo has tried uh -huh. maybe successfully to make friends with Charlie mm -hmm. to get in with 
the person they've got a crush on because Charlie's kind mm. of popular head, but also not they're definitely their own thing so it's not like getting into a popular clique it's mm. just like you feel um, like well how like because if we're going to the same school would i maybe have just approached you like after school like as you were walking to work at the mall because i know you go you work at the same place as my crush like that kind of thing yeah and then it was like um, And if you were like, your art is really cool, Charlie would just not notice that you have an ulterior motive because they think their art is pretty cool too. Hey Charlie, I think your art is pretty cool. <laughs> 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 I think that, I think perhaps maybe I genuinely might, I, I initially might approach you just because, you know, you work with the same person I have a crush on, but maybe because I think we're both like, like, not necessarily both seeing people, but just like not as I don't know how to say hip with the times or as like <laughs> popular. I don't know, but like there there's definitely a, a commonality in there somewhere. Yeah. So like yeah, I think I might have approached you because of the whole crush thing, but also because afterwards maybe we could potentially become like real life friends because you know. Yeah. I like it. Sounds good. Also, I feel like Ona would like my black lipstick and black nail polish and purple hair. That's fair. Like, it's my whole aesthetic. Although, he's very opposite that in his aesthetic. He's very yeah. neons. Okay, but like, <laughs> aesthetic is an aesthetic. Opposites attract. That That's fair. I think we just appreciate each other's aesthetics. Like, hey, I would never do that, but good for you. Yeah. Is that yeah, what you want to be? Do you, do you think, like, that they know each other from anywhere specifically? Oh my god, what, or... if, what if they both took, like, makeup classes at the mall, just, like, with different looks? No, he wouldn't have. No? <laughs> he would not <laughs> have. No. <laughs> what if, no, I'm just trying to if, think of, like, where on earth we would be. What meet. if Arlo took the class and Ona was judging the class? Oh, like, yeah. just watching and being like, nah. No. Nah. That's, I like that. that. That's very possible. Well, yeah. if you, if, say, like, okay, so, like, my headcanon is that, like, um, Ona, like, is stationed at Sephora, so, uh -huh. you might have, like, yeah. gone in and, like, I might have seen you, like, basically, <laughs> like, taking classes, like, consistently for, like, or, weeks. Like, and I'm just if you like work at Sephora, maybe I just come in and like ask for makeup tips all the I time. I don't I don't work at Sephora. Oh, I'm mall okay. security and I walk around Sephora. Oh, so you <laughs> see me getting lessons, you're like, uh, why are you like this? Yeah, basically. Okay. So it sounds like you don't like me. <laughs> I don't not like you. I just judge yeah. you. That's fair. I, I just judge that. every single person. That's yeah, who Ona is. <laughs> He's I here to that. judge you. So I think I, I'm friends with Charlie, and I regularly hang out with him because, like, crush, but Ona, I'm like, hey, that's a nice look. I appreciate your aesthetic. Here's a question. Have yeah? you realized that I'm mall security? I, I think, I think I was, the first thing, and the only thing I really noticed at this point is the neon. Because, here's, here, oh, All I think. All of you work in mall security. I think I know how we know each other. How? I think you think I work at Sephora. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I think you have come in and asked me about makeup before, and I have helped you. But at I high key do not work at Sephora. I walk around Sephora because I work at the mall. <laughs> well, but wouldn't you be wearing a Sephora uniform or like? A uniform? I don't know. Like, do you just do people at this mall not wear their uniforms? You could be anyone. Well, I'm not wearing a uniform. I'm undercover walking around at Sephora. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're an undercover mall cop. Yes. <laughs> okay, sure. I've, okay, but to be fair, like, people shoplift so much shit from, like, makeup places. I know. This mall seems to hire edgy art kids <laughs> to be at security. <laughs> so <like> Apparently. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I think you I think you work at Sephora because you're an undercover agent, Ona. Undercover agent. And then I think Charlie, I befriended Charlie because 
I know that Charlie works at mall security. And my favorite part is I don't keep it a secret that I, like, among employees that I work for mall security. Like, everyone so knows just, that I work for mall security. Am I just but, like to your whole aesthetic that I just overlook everything? You, you just have only seen me at Sephora because that's where I'm generally stationed. Okay. And I don't know, well, I'm just like, I just like, sometimes I'll just feel like, yeah, like, like Theo, I don't, I don't know why they think I work at Sephora. I clearly <laughs> am not wearing like clothes that would suggest that I work at Sephora. Like I'm undercover in the sense that I'm shopping at Sephora, and I just uh-huh. don't know. But I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Arlo would be that level of dumbass that just gets bl- blinded by the makeup. Like, yeah, totally. That that's fair. They are that level of dumbass. I love them. All right, all right, all right. So next, next, we're gonna we're gonna fucking do it, y'all. We're gonna make this goddamn mall. Okay. We ready for this? People ready to roll some heckin' dice? Uh, Heck yeah! Each of you roll me a die and tell me what number you get. A which, D6. which one? Just D six. This is a full D six system. Okay. Uh, I got five. Uh, this is a downtown mall. Oh, Jesus. And then Amadea got a three. There's a new hire. Um, and then Aaron, what'd you get? A five? Okay. Um, and someone's boss is messing stuff up. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, let's, let's kind of figure out... Or we do we want to figure it out now, or do we want to kind of figure it out in play? Figure what out? Uh, like who, who? Where is there a new hire? Like what? What's going on? Why is someone's boss messing this up? I feel like it might be better to go in with it already established. If that's Alrighty. okay. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Who, I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't work in mall security. No. Because you three all work in... No, um, right? Izzy works at Burger King. Oh, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy works at Burger King, not mall security. Um, okay, cool. Theo works at mall security. Oh, okay. Um, so the vast majority of us work in mall security. <laughs> yeah. Um, do we think another security guard got hired then? Or do we think someone who works with one of you? Do we maybe... Maybe someone got hired, um, either at the Burger King or at the game store, and we know that they've shoplifted stuff before, but whoever's boss it is insisted on hiring them, even when you brought up that concern. At either my store or Izzy's store? Yeah. Okay. How does that sound? I mean, I I work at GameStop. (laughs) I'm pretty sure GameStop is currently, isn't it like closed down or am I, am I just old? I think you're imagining that. Okay. (laughs) Erin, I still cannot hear you. (laughs) I just want to put that out there. Homophobic. There you go. (laughs) Heard homophobic. (laughs) It ain't dead yet. I know, I just haven't been in so long, I'm sorry. (laughs) Um, but then, so let's kind of talk about the system. So, we're kids. We're teens. Uh-huh. We are uh-huh. the youths. We work in a mall. We're, we're all, we're all Aaron's age. We're youths. Babies. Aww. Children. Love it. <laughs> um, and so this system is based on D6s, mm. and you only have two stats. Corporate okay. and cred. You start okay. out with them both at three, and that will Ooh. change as the game goes along. Um, okay. Whenever you go to do a task, you'll roll a d6. Um, you'll roll an extra die if you're doing something that's related to the background that you rolled up. Um, and then you can roll another die if you get help from another player. But if something goes wrong... That char- that player's character will also have to face some consequences. Okay. Um, and then 
basically you're trying to roll less than the stat that you're rolling for. So if it's you're, you're choose okay, let me go back to corporate and cred. Corporate is when you want to do good work, impress a customer, deal with management, or follow the rules. Cred is when you want to fit in with other employees, do something sneaky, abuse your power, or break the rules. Um, if you roll less than the stat, you succeed, and then you describe how you get what you want. If you roll equal to the stat, things get complicated, you describe a messy situation, what your success costs you, or how you need to compromise. And then if you roll greater than your stat, you fail. Describe how okay. things go wrong. If you roll a six, things are much, much worse. Oh, it's like crit failing? Got it. Yeah. Uh, the most dice you can roll at once is three. And then after you make a roll, if you succeed, if you succeeded, you, you decide if either of these statements fit. If you succeed by perfectly executing a plan or following the rules, you move one of your points from cred to corporate. If you su find success in chaos or impulsiveness or by breaking the rules, you move one point from corporate to cred. Okay. Um, if your corporate reaches six, you sell out and buy into what the man is selling. No. If your cred stat reaches six, you give everyone the finger and walk out. Oh, Either way, wait. you max out and are no longer working with the group. You may oh. even be actively opposing them. You become a chaotic and unpredictable force in the mall. Uh -huh. And so the way that this game goes through is basically we are role playing one day in one work day for these mall kids. Um, we start with kind of discussing. So it goes opening, morning, lunch, evening, closing, after hours. Okay. You start with defining a group goal, talking about what happens, then morning you get to work, learn something new, create a plan, that sort of thing. So there are like, suggestions and the rules of what you do. Um, speaking of the rules, Matthew Gravelin, Mr. Matthew, is awesome, and this is his RPG. And also, it's his birthday today! Okay! Um, and everybody in chat should make sure that you say happy birthday to him on Twitter, because he's the bestest. Happy birthday! I love and then that. he'll be watching this vod. So happy birthday, Matthew! Happy or happy birthday. belated birthday! Since you're watching this after your birthday, I love you. You're the best. <laughs> Baby loves you too. Um, and then so we go opening, morning, lunch, evening, closing, after hours, and we kind of, kind of, kind of, what? I can't talk. Who let me do this? Um, Ew. If you want to shake stuff up, there's like some tables you can roll on to like get a situation that's happening um okay and yeah that that's about it that's all the rules um oh wait no i didn't each each <laughs> each <laughs> good job each um point in the day so each um beat so openings a beat mornings a beat etc cetera, etc cetera. Mm -hmm. each player will start a scene and basically, you'll say who's in the scene with you. Um, people can kind of get added to the scene and stuff. But you'll act out the one scene. Um, and then you just play it out. And then it will go on to another person setting the scene. So we kind of move it forward by everyone getting a chance to kind of take over a scene, craft it. Um, okay. And that, that's how it is. We're just telling a good story of some good kids at a good mall. <laughs> good. Sure. Okay. Um, wow, Zen. My god. Wow, Artful. Everyone calling us the fuck out. <laughs> Way back. I, I'm catching up on chat, so. Um, okay, I can't catch up on chat. I don't have all of it, but I feel called out at all times. But, yeah, let, let's start. So, we can just start with, like, um... <laughs> Uh, so, I, I, I play this game slightly wrong because I, I made opening a scene when it's actually just like talking, but I think it's fun to have an opening scene where you're opening them all. I uh -huh. think it's fun, so we're gonna do that again. <laughs> okay. Um, does anyone want to take the first scene? What did we decide where the new hire was what? Oh, did we? I don't no, know. No, I don't think we did. Freaking four to six is GameStop. 
Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. I got the new hire. Um, cause I think we sort of established that, um, me and Arlo might walk the same way to get what to work. Mm. Yeah. So if Arlo knows about the new hire, and I'm security, mm -hmm. and we'll go from there. Yeah, you wanna okay. you wanna take on that scene and how so do you is do this just, that? This is just us walking to our separate jobs. Yeah, just. Okay. Well, you're walking to the same Asian mall. Or... Yeah. Oh, so we're not in the mall yet. I don't know. Where are you at, Amadea? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, how about we are in? Because I'm guessing this is like a giant, like a huge mall, right? Sure. So I'm guessing we're just in the parking lot. And maybe it takes a couple minutes to get to the door. Okay. Okay, so, me, ow, fuck, I just, sorry, I just broke my nail and I'm so mad right now. Mm -hmm. Ah, sorry, I have to focus. Um, so I think that I see Charlie and I go up to them and I stop them and go, oh, hey, Charlie, how's it going? Yeah, yeah it's going. Well, go to work and stay there. Uh, Anything fun, but, you know. Oh, don't remind me. Doing? I mean, I'm also going to work, but I'm pretty sure GameStop is, like, dying. It's okay. I'm not sad about that at all. It's fine. Um, Who all lied my, to all you, my... Jen? Who lied to you? <laughs> my sister. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but, no, but apparently I got an email from my boss last night, and apparently there's supposed to be this new person showing up today. I, oh, yeah. I'm not looking forward to training someone else, because it's a pain. Like, no one really yeah. understands how GameStop works. Like, I don't even understand it. I work there. Like, what an earth. <laughs> I mean, who knows? I mean, my job's just walking around the mall, so... I know, that's yeah. Crazy, but... Yeah, would you would you happen to um, know if you're on patrol with Natasha today? Natasha is the person I'm crushing on. <laughs> um, I don't know if Nat... She normally likes to go the other way, and I like to do the upstairs bit oh, most of the okay. time. So, yeah. I think that's what we what we arranged to do today. So I don't think so. But so, uh, you think if I hang around, you know, the lower part of the mall, I'll run into her? It's just that I got some homework for her. I think she dropped oh. it, and I want to give it to her. You know, because she's such a good student. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean I could just give it to him myself. No, no, I'm, it's okay. You know I've been in the break room. I mean you're right. You're totally right. But I just really feel like it's important that I give it to her because you know the teacher assigned it specifically to me. It's like my responsibility. True. I have no idea what what you're doing in your bio class or whatever. So I probably couldn't explain it. So you're probably right. It's um, but yeah. yeah. She'll, I don't know, she'll probably be downstairs. I'd have to check the roster again. You know, if you could do that, I'd be so grateful because I just, this homework, man, it's so important. Like, it's final grade, 50% I mean, of your grade important. It's just homework. Like, school doesn't really matter. See, I agree with you for my personal grades, but I feel like Natasha cares about her grades a lot. So I feel like this is, like, diehard important. <laughs> okay. Sure. It's, yeah. Yeah. I'll. I'll check. Okay. No I'll. I'll keep a lookout for it. Thank you so much. But no, I hope nothing crazy happens with this new hire. Cause, oh boy, am I not ready for new people? I don't like. The, I mean, I love people. I'm not. I, I'm lying. I hate people. Oh yeah. Do you know who it is? Anyone I'd know? Uh, someone by the name of Sarah Green. Don't know who they are. Literally just know the name. It was in the boss's email. Mm. I don't even know. I think they're supposed to be starting out as like a cashier or something, but I'm supposed to be training them as a cashier. So like, please, please end my suffering if they're incompetent. Like, please. Uh, Sarah Green? Is you know sure? anyone? You know anyone by that name? Cause I don't. Yeah, we had a real big problem going around um, 
like the makeup shops or whatever. Oh and really? Just, like put in stuff in her pockets. Yeah. Oh, you mean like I don't know, the yeah. Ew, had you to know? check with, like, Ona, but pretty yeah. sure she has a massive problem. He works at Sephora, right? He's so talented. Like, every time I'm there, I see him, and I, like, want to make sure my makeup always looks good, and he just always has great tips. Like, he's always there. He's the best employee that they have there. I'm so in awe. He's great. Um, well, I'm, I mean, most of the time he's working in Sephora, but he well, he, he works in Sephora, right? He's in Sephora and he's working. That's working you know, in Sephora. You know, we don't have time for that. I Time for what? He is working in Sephora. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> he works in Sephora and gives me makeup tips. Like, that's it. Those are the three truths in this world. Mm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. It's you not good my job to to mess with your world philosophy. So, <laughs> world philosophy. I thought I was stating facts. Okay, and, I didn't um, know. Did I do something? I think I offended. I'm. I'm. You know, I think I might take some photos before work. I've got like five minutes. Um. I mean, okay, if you want. Definitely uh, watch the new chick. I She's, will until I mean, she gets on. I could be a different person. Uh huh. I'll check. But okay, I'm but if she sure. gets on my nerves, I might have to slap her. I I'm not responsible for that. Oh no! Like go for it. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, you're mall security, and you said I could slap her if she's annoying. So like, I totally can now. I mean, if I'm there to watch. Oh okay. I'll totally just like text him like I'm slapping her in like ten minutes. Be there or be <laughs> not there. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool. I don't know. I'll slap her. That'll hurt a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Someone's encouraging me slapping Sarah, and I love whoever that is. I want to. That's Parker. <laughs> My God. Oh, Charlie okay. just wants to take photos of stuff and someone being slapped. That's I know. That's pretty cool. My favorite part is Charlie really didn't know how that sounded. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie has no idea. They just get the photos. That's valid. Listen, I'm making a canon now that Arlo is particularly pissed off because they broke their nail this morning and that is cause for murder. <laughs> then, oh my god. Look, look at this. Look, you know how sad this is? This is the worst feeling ever. I hate it. I'm sorry, Jen. Who wants to do another scene? <laughs> the game right there. Nothing else can fall. <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> We're like, wait. The object has changed. The object is, can Charlie capture a photo of Arla slapping Sarah? That's the entire game now. <laughs> Um, I, I'm fine with that, but no, um, what comes up? What did you say, Allie? I was uh, trying to restrain myself from calling you Peppa right now. I'm sorry, uh, it's hard. Someone is gonna do another scene. Who's gonna do the next scene for I the opening? I mine. Someone else do it. Yep, that, that was, that was Amadeus. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, <laughs> what's supposed to happen? I'm confused. Um, so, let's see, what what would the next scene be in an opening phase? Well, have you guys gone into the mall yet? Like, you two haven't gone in. Yeah, so I think, I, I might also, hmm. I don't know why I just want all my characters to be driven by the, to the mall by someone else, but I, like, <laughs> so vaguely, desperately want Izzy to have driven me to the mall. <laughs> Someone protect Sarah. No, Sarah is a layabout. We don't like her. She made me break my nail. Fuck Sarah. No, Izzy. <laughs> Izzy. No, someone in the chat goes, someone protect Sarah. Don't oh, protect Sarah. Parker, yeah, no one's gonna protect Sarah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sarah's not real. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, uh, 
must I always play the gay that can't drive? Yeah. Yes. Izzy, Izzy, I think you drove me to work. <laughs> Allison's not here, so someone someone had to have the character that drives me to work. <laughs> so I, I kind of want to start that scene off of, like, maybe us, like, just arriving at the mall. Aaron? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you called my microphone aggressively closer to my mouth. <laughs> okay. You're coming out really clear and loud, but then you were, you were just nothing before. <laughs> Um, so, we're- we're just arriving at the mall, um, I'm the gay that can't drive, you're the gay that can drive. Um, <laughs> uh... Gay cousin. Yep. So, that- that's why you're driving me, is you're my cousin. <laughs> um, like, let's just be real. But I think- I think I want it to be different. I want it to be different from the 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 dynamic that I had last mall kids. We can't have the same driving dynamic. I think this is gonna be like my parents used to drive me to my job. Uh, cause or I think my parents used to drive me to the mall a lot because they wanted me out of the house. And then they were thrilled when I got a job <laughs> because I had a reason to be at the mall. But then, <laughs> you got a job at Burger King, and they were like, my god, Perfect. we don't have to drive him to the mall anymore. So, that is why, why you're driving me to the mall. So, like, I, my job actually predates yours, but my parents are the ones that kind of dragged you into this. to me and my parents and to be like I'm going to drive you yeah question do you like are like does wait no let's just let's just play it out what, what is happening in your car I'm curious what, well no that's not what I'm curious about what kind of car are we in <laughs> I don't know car breeds <laughs> listen I'm not looking for a car breed Aaron I'm looking for like a fucking pickup truck, or like a Subaru Outback, no. or like a regular normal car. Those are the three breeds of car. <laughs> breeds. Of car. breeds? <laughs> they have a rusty old pickup truck. They Perfect. Don't know to where they got it. <laughs> I don't know. It's the scrapyard. Maybe. Is it, like, actually registered to drive, or are you just, like, illegally driving it? <laughs> Who knows? You Did know? We? Do you know if you're just illegally driving it? Do you just not know how cars work? Is he just walked into a field one day, saw this truck, and was like, this truck is mine now. Like, no one ever taught them how to drive, but they oh, just, no. like, got into it. And they started going, and they're like, well, this is my truck now. This is how you acquire vehicles, right? <laughs> sure. It, they actually... It is registered. You don't know to who. What? Oh. <laughs> Why is this shrouded in mystery and wrapped in an enigma? I know the secret that I want to know now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's the biggest mystery at the mall is what the fuck is going on with your truck. <laughs> yeah, Izzy, this truck, everyone else, like, walks and, like, you're the one, like, teen employee, like, with a car, but everyone's like, is this, like, safe? Like, whose Half truck is this? Half of smuggling drugs in it. <laughs> New objectives. Watch a slapping. <laughs> Find out where the car came from. Cool. Yo, this Good is, game. This game could not be more different from our last game. I wasn't even here for it, so great. Last game was pure. 
Oh, well, th that's the problem. You added me. Anytime you add Jen, things are not pure. <laughs> they stop being pure. <laughs> oh my gosh. I say you name the truck Kim Not Possible. Oh yeah. Does Izzy's truck have a name? I know I got very distracted from the scene, but Aaron, I can't hear you. <laughs> it's slowly closer to my mouth. There we go. <laughs> Right next to my fucking lips, apparently. Thanks. Please, please keep just doing like, that. Tape, get, get some duct tape and just like tape it right here. No, they have to hold it or it no. won't work. No. Tape. Do it. <laughs> okay. What? 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 What's? What's the? No, Aaron. <laughs> I hate you so much. They're doing it. They're doing it. You're my least favorite person on this entire planet. Why are you lying, Allie? You know you're lying. No, Aaron is not my nemesis. They're just my least favorite person. <laughs> ben is my nemesis. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh. See, watch this solve the, all the problems, Okay, Allie. but does it work? Aaron, talk to us. Oh. I can hear you. Hey. So what? What, Allie? What'd you say? Okay, wh what's what's the name? It is truck. Oh! Check the other side too, though. Oh. I say we name it Hamburglar Mustache. No, it's just Hamburger. No. <laughs> I take it back. I'm not riding in this fucking truck. <laughs> we take it back. No, no, no. Grease lightning. Grease lightning. <laughs> oh my god. No, I- here- here's my- I bet Izzy named it after an MMA fighter. Oh no, Kirby from the movie Kirby. Like the little, like, buggy car. I feel like Ona- okay. Here- L let's actually get into our scene now that I've distracted enough. <laughs> Aaron, yeah, how Kirby. are you doing? How are you doing there, Aaron? Me. You're right. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. My god, okay. Hey. Alright, so we're arriving at the mall in your truck. <laughs> That's McDonald's character. <laughs> no. Sally. You know how, um, I told you that Izzy doesn't hate you, uh, that Ona doesn't hate you? <laughs> Is that true? I think I lied. <laughs> I think Daddy, I was no! wrong. No! Don't do this to me! <laughs> I, I think Ona hates Izzy. No! I think Ona hates all of oh. you. <laughs> okay, but like... We're Sephora buddies, Oda. You can't hate me. Okay. Alright, so we're arriving at the mall in your stupid truck. <laughs> I think I am, like, finishing up my makeup in the mirror and glaring at you every time you hit a pothole. <laughs> Are you purposely hitting potholes? I will say, Izzy's actually probably a good driver. Oh, nice. Okay. But are you purposely hitting the potholes so that Ona messes up his makeup? Izzy's not a douche. Fine. <laughs> I would True, I think Ona would probably not be doing make- like, would know whether you would do that on purpose, because you've been driving him for a while, and like, would refrain from doing makeup in the car if you were gonna be a jerk. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so- so we're- we're getting to the parking lot in, uh, so, you're back. My parents are pretty glad that they don't have to drive me to work anymore. And your truck is still going. It is. And how Cat's are your dashboard? How are your scars doing? Take one hand off the seat steering wheel and just shows you. Could you please, could you, I like, I know I don't drive, but this doesn't seem like how you do it. 
<laughs> and it is the way to go, little cousin. We're literally <laughs> the same age, Izzy. We're the same age. <laughs> three I'm... months older than you, it counts. No, I'm three months older than you, but I'm one inch shorter than you, so you call me your little cousin. Oh, I hate that, yeah. <laughs> Pats you on the head with that hand. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'm glad that you're back at work. Congrats. <laughs> Me out of the house. Yeah, but that was okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, they decided to let you come back to Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> they being who? My. No, like the parents. like the management. <laughs> oh damn! Listen. <laughs> Possible, I show up on time most of the time. Most of the time. Didn't you get hurt at work though? They don't need to know that. Wasn't it your fault? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... The loose laws of Burger King. Oh no. Let's play little cousin. Damn. Do you know that, that like I'm the one who's, like, security, and, like, I've never gotten injured at work once, and this is, like, your third time getting injured at this one job. <laughs> well, you know. Like, severely, I'm not counting the bumps. <laughs> no, I am driving this car. I can shove you out the door. Do it. You're not allowed to if I'm not watching. my car. You insult the hamburger. And you drag me. <laughs> I'm a day at why. Um. Sure, sure. No, I'm just genuinely. I'm not here to tell your bosses to fire you. I am just surprised that they have not. <laughs> Well, that it happened at work. To them, a grilled cheese incident that got that went mysteriously and horrifically wrong. <laughs> you served grilled cheese at Burger King. <laughs> Home. <laughs> They're not there. Your parents believed that you got hurt at home making grilled cheese when you got, like, severely burned at work? <laughs> parents, we... They don't believe me. But they also haven't yelled at me? <laughs> All in all, I'm going to win. I mean, sure, I guess. Um... I think we're probably, Mom. like, arriving, what? and I'm like, well, I mean, great talking to you, cuz. <laughs> it's been so lonely on the ride in every morning. So, for just the sake of everyone, teenage Gina DeVivo was an undercut. Like oh, well. <laughs> I love that. I can only picture that... Whenever I think of Teenage Gina DeVivo, I just think of, um, my friend's D&D character who, like, was accidentally, like, the perfect face wreck, like, of Gina DeVivo <laughs> as a child. Well, as a young adult. But more punchy. God. Fuck. Mm -hmm. You're just that character. <laughs> my god, everything's bad. <laughs> Everything's so bad. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna... I think that's probably... Probably my scene. Okay. Alright, Jen or Aaron, what, what's your next opening up scene? I feel like, would opening up include meeting Sarah Green? Or would that sure. be, like, next... You can do next whatever step. you want, Jen. Okay. I'm not so, here to stop you. Okay. Um, my only question is, how does the interactions with this person work? Because they're not real. 
So you can either kind of just say how it goes. Them? Yeah, you can say, hey, you, you're going to play this person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, sure. you person, you person on my screen, you're going to play Sarah. Congrats. Okay. Okay. That's that's gonna be you, Allie. Good. It can't be Amadea because Amadea has to take the pictures. Of course, duh. Um. Okay. So I, <laughs> I am convinced that as part of their character trait, Arlo is convinced that GameStop has a conspiracy that it's slowly being bought out and it's closing down in like two months so they're just like stockpiling and trying to get, save up all the coupons they can so they can like get an employee discount and like make bank on the last day of work yeah and everyone you told this to is like who told you this why do you, why do you think your store is going out of business you work there <laughs> they're just convinced because their sister told them like one it was like a five minute conversation like a year ago where their sister was just like so uh GameStop is going out of business like a and year ago like a year ago by the way both of them were like it was 3 a.m both of us were severely like exhausted and my sister was probably trying to say blockbuster but she ended up saying <laughs> GameStop and I took that to heart and I was like oh shit I'm about to lose my job <laughs> Oh. <laughs> You've been waiting for a year. Yeah, it's, just, it's, 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 it's a lingering fear that's so been gone coming. for like a year. I, it's like looming over my head every day is my last day at GameStop. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> um, they make a game of it. They try to guess like like you try to guess when it's Mountain Day, except it's not Mountain Day. It's when is GameStop closing. Do you here's here's a question. Do you ever go up to your manager and be like, "Hey, how are things going?" and your manager's like, "It yeah, good." And you're like, "Oh man, they're lying to me." You know, I think I try to like subtly find out, like not directly ask my managers like, "Hey, when is GameStop closing?" but try to be like, "Hey, so um if you ever consider, you know, making cutbacks, you know, maybe not start with me. I feel like I'm pretty competent, but like <laughs> maybe if, don't you know, lay me <laughs> off. <laughs> but like, if you ever start, you know, needing to have, if you ever need more money, just like know that I completely understand. Like the rest money? of you understand Do too. You know, like, oh yeah, you know, job. <laughs> Yeah, probably should be the first to go. Like, <laughs> here's here's a second question yeah. for Arlo. Yeah. Are, is this why you're upset that Sarah's joining? Are you worried that like Sarah's taking up some of the money that could be going to the failing GameStop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that I think that GameStop is. <laughs> I think one of the main reasons is uh, that Arlo thinks GameStop is going out of business besides his sister, like their sister telling them, is that um, like the, uh, not a lot of people shop at this specific GameStop because it's kind of hit up in a corner and like no one really knows it's there and it's really tiny, <laughs> but like, um, so no one's there. So they think that it's like losing money. So the fact that they're hiring someone else makes them think that like the, the company is about to go bankrupt. And this point is like, Sarah Green is up in here trying to steal their bank, and they don't appreciate that because, like, they need as much money as they can get because they're going to save up and buy, like, I don't know, they're going to start their own GameStop after they marry Natasha. Like, it's great. I also, and just I mean, before we get to the scene, I want to propose this, um, that you're a weekend worker only. <laughs> 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 and you just don't see all the regulars that come in during the week. <laughs> It's also canon that Charlie just won't tell um, Arlo that their worldview is wrong. <laughs> We've already done that once today. They're just like, sure, yep, yeah. GameStop closing? closing? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, yes, yeah. works for Sephora? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Arlo's situation. Arlo's world consists of conspiracy theories about GameStop. Marrying Natasha and finding the perfect shade of black lipstick that is long lasting. <laughs> like, that's Arlo's world right now. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> All right. Now let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. I forgot we were setting up a scene. Dear God. Okay. I got so deep into this. It was your scene. 
I know. By the way, I, to clarify, I have shopped at GameStop. I love GameStop. I just I don't know where this personal vendetta against GameStop came from. This is Arlo speaking, not Jen. No, it was <laughs> you. You're the one that thought it was closing. <laughs> no, because I was thinking about Blockbuster at the time. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Is the game? I don't know. So okay, I'm. I'm. So Pippa or Ali, you're gonna yeah. be uh, Sarah Green. Sure. Right. Okay. So I think sweat is in my eyes because my eyes hurt right now. It's fine. It's not air conditioned in here. So um, I think I walk into this tiny GameStop, and I see um Sarah Green standing there like with the boss, right? And by the cash register, and the boss goes, "Hey, Arlo, you're here." This is the new hire. Her name is Sarah Green. Train her. And I look at you and I go, Hi. Um, I'm Arlo. Hi. Uh huh. I'm okay. Sarah. I'm I'm new here. I'm really excited to be working with you. That's great. Yeah. Uh huh. That that's good. So I think that I'm supposed to be training you as a cashier or whatever. So that's fine. And so. <laughs> Is there, do you have any previous experience with this kind of stuff or am I starting from rock bottom here? I mean, I have worked at like small stores before, but not in a mall. Okay, great. So I think, I think the easiest way would be, I don't feel like we need to walk through exactly how a cash register works because I don't know. <laughs> okay, but, I'm going to change this. Yeah. Uh, just, I just want to declare something. Yeah. I think Sarah is an innocent. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, Sarah yeah. um, did shoplift once, one time when her friend goaded her into it, and she learned her lesson when she got caught. Okay. Just because I feel like we can't have a bad person also be pulled into this terrible Arlo situation. <laughs> Arlo is- I love Arlo. Excuse you. They're just trying I to- I didn't say life. Arlo is terrible. I said this terrible Arlo situation. <laughs> I need like to see a poor you're... innocent person be pulled into this madness. Okay, but like, what about the three o'clock slapping? I feel like that's important. I mean, who's to say that's not even funnier if it's a poor innocent being pulled into that? Okay, fine. Um, so I think that rather than try to role play out the we'll workings see. of a cash register, I think that I think that a better thing would be to maybe um, explain. Oh, my eye hurts so much. Um, maybe like no, but that would just bring more people into the scene, which could get crazy. I'm just Do trying it. to think of a way. Do what that... you fucking want, Jen. No, because I'm trying to think of. Um, you see, uh, we had an entire like truck conversation service. about the name of my truck. We did. Or you did. No, I'm thinking, like, how to handle customer service, and Arlo is just, you know, Arlo. You know? Yeah. What what does Arlo teach Sarah? L let's put it this way. Does okay. t Arlo teach Sarah the correct things? <laughs> I think Arlo teaches Sarah. You know how people in customer service have sh the things they're supposed to do and then the shortcuts that they do? Yeah. <laughs> I think Arlo teaches Sarah, like, a whole bunch of shortcuts. So, like, um... Say, for instance, like, when you lock up at night, you're supposed to leave the keys, like, under, like, in the cash register or something. I don't know. And then Arlo makes it into a game where they try to trick shot it, and like, <laughs> behind the trash can every night for, like, giggles. Or, like, <laughs> or, like, rather than, um, like, sorting the bills by, by, like, you know, in the cash register by, like, like money, they try to sort it by like numerical, like money and paying money in the same money pile. <laughs> I want, see, Sarah's an NPC, but I still want to roll for her. I want to see how bad, like, if she can succeed on like her first customer. <laughs> I'm gonna make a roll for Sarah. We're gonna, we're gonna roll this game, folks. We're gonna fucking do it, y'all. Is rolling. How nope, I roll the six. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you try to make a trick shot for the keys behind the trash can, and it's <laughs> and you make it behind the trash can, and it just falls behind the wall. 
and you can't get the keys. Yeah, and I think, like, you were showing me this because you're like, you have to do this when you lock up. Like, it's yeah, a tradition, it's our manager, there. like, checks the, like, tapes to make sure that we do this. <laughs> yeah. And so you're like, practice. And so we <laughs> took the key out of the register, because the key turns the register on. Um, yeah. And you had me trick shot it, and then we lost it, and now we can't turn the register on. <laughs> so we can't even start, like, work? No. The workday, I'm going to say that the workday had, like, almost started, and, like, you had already turned the register on, but you, like, turned it off to show me how to trick shot. So we can't turn it back on. So yeah, we, like, we can't turn it on. Oh, we have fuck. no access to the register. <laughs> oh, no. Like some five-year-old comes in to buy Animal Crossing, you just cannot sell it. Oh, no. Be like, I'm sorry, it. we're only taking exact change right now. <laughs> Okay, but like Arlo would be the person to get down on their knees and put their hands on the little five-year-old's shoulders and go, listen to me, life is a series of compromises and disappointments. Let this be the first lesson of many. Come back and you'll succeed later, maybe. Go forth and prosper. Chat, <laughs> now we know why this game stuff is going to go out of business. <laughs> And I think, I, can I roll to see if the five-year-old starts crying or if he just, like, walks away? Sure. Wait. I rolled a four. Oh, yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. It gets so, worse. Wait. The situation gets worse. No, 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 I was rolling to see if he would start crying. No, you gotta, you gotta roll to hopefully successfully do something, because you're trying to roll under your number, fam. You're oh, not trying okay. to make this five-year-old cry. I'm playing the wrong game. Okay. You have made this five-year-old cry. The situation is getting worse. It's not a six-level worse, like you can uh -huh. no longer access the register in your store. <laughs> okay, um, uh, okay, so our goal is to make this five-year-old stop crying. Got it. What do, Sarah, what the fuck do five-year-olds like? Do they like, like, do they like, I feel like we could put on a puppet show. I mean, Animals. I mean, I'm just That's gonna put it out there. I think that this five-year-old likes Animal Crossing. Okay, hear me out. We can't give them Animal Crossing, but we can do a puppet show for animals. Should we, like, get the manager to, like, turn turn the register on? We could, yes, but I feel like it's really important to him that we learn how to solve situations on our own, like collective team building. Like, like I'm supposed to be training you in the way of how the store works, this is, and this is how the store works. This is how like, the oh, store works? We just okay. don't? We just don't? Don't what? No, we work. We put in the work, we put in the hours, we put in the effort and the heart. If we put in heart to this GameStop, it won't close down. I'm you looking I'm looking at like another person that has like in line at the register now and I'm like <laughs> We just we just we just we just don't check them out. <laughs> I like a twenty year old high out of their mind. Just like what Yeah, it's mind? like it's like extremely early in the morning. And we're just like getting the really like we happen to get a couple of people come in and I'm just like like, like, I, I understand. Just ushering the kids out. Just like, we could, but the kids is... go. Oh. Okay, no, Sarah, no, different kids. Different kids. The kid crying. Okay. I shouldn't pop it as he just, like, keeps <laughs> walking. Wow. Sarah, I really think you need to get on board with this, whole, with this whole, like, puppet show idea. I need your full heart and support if we're gonna save this GameStop. Ar I mean, this child. Ar Arlo, do we have puppets here? I okay. didn't think we did. That's why I said we fashioned them. So what we're gonna do, hear me out, what we're gonna do. So you know how the games have the little covers in them and they have the little folders, the little, what are they called, like pamphlets inside of them? We could take that paper, fold them origami style into Arlo. various things. Arlo. <laughs> Put on a Arlo. Yeah. Do you unseal the games at the store before you sell them? I mean, not normally, but like, desperate times call for, call for desperate measures. Do you know how to get this five-year-old to stop crying? No, Puppet Show's the way to go. Or we could take one of these like random plushies that we just happen to sell at GameStop, because why not? Or, or I guess we could buy Animal Crossing for the kid, but I think that's cheaping out. Like, I mean... that's like copping out. I feel like we should do a Puppet Show. 
I... Are you really sure we shouldn't go get the manager? I mean, I we could, the manager but do you want up. to explain to the manager how we did a trick shot of the keys before we even had our first customer? And just, like, right you... behind Arlo. And here's that. And what? And was like... I think the manager turns up now. And he's standing just behind Arlo. Uh-huh. As you say that, going... You did what now? Wait, so are you the, like, is someone yeah. actually the manager? Amadeo is becoming the manager. <laughs> they <laughs> are the manager now. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> so, so I think that I, Arlo should totally try and pretend like the kid is their nephew. Totally. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, it's gonna take me a moment to register that it's the manager. And I'm gonna be like, Arlo, you told me to do that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I told you to do that, because that's how we work here at GameStop. We do it with heart and compassion, and we show our customers that we're fun, just like the games that they buy. That's why they shop at GameStop, for the art of it. Arlo. Arlo. Yeah. Arlo. Yeah. I... <laughs> Are you <laughs> entertaining the customers instead of selling them games again? <laughs> again! <laughs> I... Listen. Crying, crying harder, just like I just wanted Animal Crossing. And we, tr we try to help. You, you, listen, you can't Mr. tell Boss me you're man. related to this one. This is um, yeah. This, this is this is my nephew. He's 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 great. He really loves so Animal Crossing. So was the other one Same. last week, and the one the other day was your child. And I, you know, I just week I have so much love in my heart for children. Uh-huh. Okay, is okay. your nephew, what's um, my name? Your name's Charlie, Charlie. Now stop talking. I'm gonna cover his mouth. <laughs> your name's Charlie. Aren't you having uh, such uh, a fun time, uh, Charlie? Uh, hey, hello. I think we've got some boxes for you to unpack. Now, okay. okay. Here, unpack here's my suggestion. Right I want to call this scene here. <laughs> okay. I just want to, like, hard stop cliffhanger it and see where <laughs> Izzy's scene takes us. So, like, cut away to Izzy just, like, doing chill shit and then cut back to the madness at morning okay. scenes. Okay. <laughs> if people are up for that, I'm also fine with continuing it. I just think that would be fucking hilarious. That would- I agree, that's yeah. funny. Alright. <laughs> What's your scene gonna be, Erin? <laughs> You're heading into work at the Burger King, or you're going to visit someone else's <laughs> store. <laughs> Allie, why did you let me join your stream? This was a mistake. I mean, yeah, but a good one. Change my objective to do a crime. <laughs> no, because no. you've already done that. You just assaulted a child. <laughs> I didn't hit a child. I just covered his mouth, so we can't say his name. Yeah, that makes it so much better. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Thinking on the fly here, guys. Every character in this is such a disaster. <laughs> it's <a> perfect. Erin, <laughs> what's your scene? <clears throat> All of that. Honestly, honestly, maybe the kid's parents are at Burger King wondering where their kid is. Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> so... <clears throat> <laughs> so... Burger King is on the way to Sephora, so the cousins are walking in together, no matter no matter how much Ona hates it. Uh-huh. Yup. 
emergency's parents in the food court. <laughs> yeah. Around Burger King, but they're like not open yet. Mm hmm. Aaron, you're you're gone again. <laughs> you got so quiet. What the fuck? <laughs> that was clear. You're back. See, I just have to swear. <laughs> it's like Amy Dallin doing good at rolling in close to six. Just gotta do the fucking swears. No, oh, no. Okay. No, but like. <laughs> And starts to open up. <coughs> um. Aaron, Aaron, no. We <laughs> done. Oh my god. Failed us. Get okay. Up. I'm gonna have to put it like in my mouth. <laughs> that seems like it's not gonna help. Just gonna put that out there. Oh my god. <laughs> Do not eat the microphone. Monch the microphone. No. Crod. No monch in it. Whatever you say, Ali. <clears throat> exactly. My channel, no monch in it. I say you do it anyway. Mm. The microphone. <laughs> Crave the crotch. Become the microphone. If worse turns to worse, I have another pair of headphones downstairs. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Assimilate. Oh, no. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> okay, continue. You go to open up. My face is so sweaty from the tape. I hope you know this. <laughs> I do this for you, Allie. I didn't Aww. ask you to. <laughs> what are you doing at your Burger King where you hurt yourself? <laughs> so, <clears throat> open up because it's like early in the morning and worker. Worker there, running off and just over to her and just <laughs> and it's just my tape has failed me. I think you're gonna have to hold it, Erin. I think you're gonna have to hold it when you're talking. I really do. I hate this. I literally hate this, Allie. I'm sorry. I'm not the one who has the bad microphone. <laughs> I had headphones yesterday. Do you understand Ooh, this? Frustrating. <clears throat> Okay, but go to opening up the cash register and it's like how long it usually takes to the GameStop? We sent our kid over there. We're supposed to be keeping watch and they've been gone for like twenty minutes. <laughs> In the background. <laughs> If this was a TV show, they seem to be playing side by side. Oh, you're <laughs> right. Izzy calls <clears throat> the food court ever. Uh huh. She uh, and she's like, do you know, who the f do you know who's over in GameStop? I mean, this shouldn't take twenty minutes to go get a game. <clears throat> you're talking to me, right? Most of it that time. <laughs> Earth hate me, Allie. I don't know, fam. 
when they're doing the next scene, I'm gonna go get my other pair. Okay. Um, so you're talking to me, right? I am. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I'm gonna be like, well, I mean, I think Arlo works there. <laughs> so, I mean, stuff with Arlo can, like, take a while sometimes. Am I infamous in this mall? You come in and talk to me at Sephora when I'm supposed to be doing my job all the time. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Like, they- I know they work there, they kind of come in and tell me about their job all the time. <laughs> um, so, they might just be talking to this kid? I don't know. Well... It, when I was coming, I saw... And to make puppets for a crying five-year-old. <laughs> sure, if that your five-year-old, so no sister in sight of so, this five-year-old. I take it that you're like not calling me for advice. You like want me to like go do my job in a place where it's like not my job to do my job. <laughs> no. Why are you calling me? less about the situation also does not know anything about what happened she's a dumbass so she doesn't know anything about what happens in any other part of the mall like okay maybe this kid got kidnapped we don't know well someone might know wouldn't that be just as concerning like all right, you know what? Okay, I'll I'll go to the GameStop, I guess. And then, do we want to call opening there? <laughs> sure. 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 All right, and then go into. I I if if I may, I would like to call the first scene of this, which would be I would like to like go over to, like, where Charlie is stationed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and be like, hey, Charlie, apparently some stuff is going down at the GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> is he... <laughs> oh, yeah? Is you it... heard about Sarah, then? I mean, <laughs> is Sarah the name of the, the child? <laughs> um... I assume she's not a child because she's working there. Like Sarah Green? Oh. Who mixed her stuff last month? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Like, she's. Crazy. How can you steal stuff from a mall and then get a job there? I mean, like, she might be okay. Like, she. I haven't seen her back and, like, she hasn't done anything shifty since. So I'm hoping that, like, she's turned over a new leaf. I'm still gonna watch her, though. But, like... Yeah, it's pretty shady, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but, apparently that... I, she, she Wait, she's working at GameStop now? <laughs> yeah, I thought that's what you were telling me was going down. No, apparently, like, Arlo is, like, trying to calm down a screaming child or something, and Izzy's worried that they've been kidnapped. <laughs> huh. I saw a regular Saturday afternoon. Yeah, um, it's a little bit early in the day for that, but cool. I mean, um, I told Izzy I'd go check it out, like, but I'm not, su I like, I catch shoplifters, <laughs> I don't really want to go deal with a kidnapping alone. Okay, but first, yeah. how distraught do the parents look? I don't know, I haven't seen him, Izzy called me. <laughs> um. Okay, can you ask Izzy, are they, like, gr glamorous and distraught-looking parents, or are they just, like, eh-looking parents? I'm gonna text Izzy, I'm gonna be like, Hey, Izzy, can you send me a picture of the parents? 
messages. <laughs> Aaron, I don't know what you're saying. I'm literally holding it up to my mouth. I okay. Don't okay. Okay. Now say say what you're saying. Like three messages back, and it's just. So, you won't send me a picture of the parents? Something that, what the f- Why? Charlie asked! Charlie? Yeah, I work with Charlie. If it's a kidnapping, I don't want to go deal with it alone. I didn't say it was a kidnapping, I just wasn't sure. You did say it was a kidnapping! <laughs> no one can confirm. And I'm gonna look at Charlie from texting this. I texted that in all caps. I'm gonna be like, Oh, well, Charlie, she says apparently it's not a kidnapping, and she won't send me a picture for some reason. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Yeah. Wait, you didn't provide Charlie? the context for why you wanted the picture. You just wanted a picture. I said Charlie. Sorry, Charlie said. <laughs> Continue. So you know who Charlie is? You so work is, with is them. <clears throat> what? Is is he with? Is is he with the parents? No. Apparently, this is the screaming kid with Arlo. <laughs> okay. The parents are a lost cause. Maybe we can get a medic shot of the kid being abandoned and or attacked by Arlo. Attacked? <laughs> I mean... It's just what happens. <laughs> sure. So we but will you hurry. also help me if we like have to do our jobs there? Okay, but we've got to get the shot first, yeah? Like, you understand. Um, you do. I'd do the same for you if you wanted to get really good makeup. Okay. I mean, I guess. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, but yeah. Okay, let's go see what's going on at this <laughs> shop. <laughs> okay, that's my scene. <laughs> Who oh gets God. to take a scene now? <laughs> Are we going back to GameStop? <laughs> It's whoever wants to take the next scene. Okay, so I get, we're back at GameStop. <laughs> and um Okay, so Ali, you were you were Sarah, right? Yep. And Amadea, <laughs> you were the you were the boss, right? But if you're both coming yeah. over, then what's the point? We're both coming over. It's okay. We can handle this. Are you sure? Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be great. Okay. Okay, sure. Listen, um, last time I played an employee at Best Boy. Uh, that should be the name of a pet shop, because obviously. No, it was Best Boy! <laughs> I know, but like, Best Boy is dogs. Um, so, I think that the scene is still, the boss is standing behind Arlo, Sarah Green is right next. And then, like, Arlo's just trying to convince this kid to go along with the bit, right? So, <laughs> Arlo's just like, Hey, Mr. Boss Man, I just, um... <clears throat> sh I'm just entertaining the customers so they know that you get the real, authentic GameStop experience when you shop at this GameStop. You know? So they always, they just keep coming back for more, you know? <laughs> it's like, they can't get enough of GameStop, so we don't go out of- I mean, um, so we get more business. Well, that's, that's very kind of you, Arlo, but we've discussed this before. The okay. right way is not accosting small children. I don't know, I, really, like, so I do we not cost... throw the keys? Did you have me do that for no reason? No, because we no. did the trick shot. I'm sorry, Sarah, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking, um, 
It's okay. No, no, no. You don't understand. No, because in doing the trick shot, it encourages camaraderie between co-workers so they know they have to get on. You're the, talking the to arch. our manager right now. <laughs> the perfect arch of the key symbolizes the perfect arch in which we reach out our hands and form a strong bond between co-workers. As it's you can symbolic. see, Arlo has a lot of spirit. Also, I know know their parents and we're quite good friends <laughs> Arlo, i'm just trying to make sure that sarah knows that this game stop is worth all the effort and all the energy in the world it needs to be around it needs to be saved just I... like just like my my little nephew here agrees with me don't you nephew? <laughs> no, no, I'm not your <laughs> i think i think it would be more convincing from the child if you weren't moving his head for him <laughs> i mean of course of course you know you're absolutely right the only problem is my little nephew here he he has terrible social anxiety <laughs> and he just he doesn't feel comfortable talking to new people especially someone as tall as you mr boss man. so he just he's just so intimidated right now and what he really needs is like Shadow puppets of animals, or like a plushie. And he'll be okay. You'll be okay, won't you, kid? You'll be. Okay. I'm looking at you. You side eye. You'll be okay. Won't you? You're not tall. Um, can you ask Arlo's nephew? Sarah, you're not tall. <laughs> what his name is then? Okay, so hear me out. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna lean down. I'm gonna like pretend like I'm just gonna squat down so I'm at the kid's level. And I go, kid, I will give you five bucks. Just and write out loud. <laughs> A lollipop if you go along with this. Just do it. I can't. Roll this is like the fifth it. time this has happened. Gotta roll. Oh, yes, oh. please roll for this. Wait, wait, wait. We need what? to specify. What? Are they rolling to convince the child or for the <laughs> manager to not hear them bribe a child in front of them? <laughs> Wait, so am I rolling to, like, make sure... Which one? How... I mean, I think it's both gonna require a roll. It's which roll would you like to make first? And uh, this is definitely a cred roll. <laughs> you only make cred rolls. Let's be real, Arlo has spiritually maxed out already. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> I think that, like, time-wise, hearing would be first. Okay. Roll so to I'm, see if the manager hears you. So I'm rolling. So I'm rolling to see if I get heard. So I want to roll high, right? No. Oh. <laughs> You're rolling to not be heard. You want to oh, roll I, low. Your stats are currently three and three. Will not change until you succeed on a roll. Hi. <laughs> what did you roll on your d6? Two. You six okay, the manager somehow does not hear you arriving this child like three feet away from him. Please roll to convince the child. Roll to convince the child. Oh to go also, along. wait. What? what? You, you definitely were breaking rules here. Would you like to move one point from corporate to cred? I feel like Arlo, yes. Okay, so now you have to roll a four uh, under a four. Okay, so wait, my corporate is two now. Yep. Okay, my credit's four. Okay, noted. Um, God, what is what did I do to this stream? I'm so sorry. What did you do to your character, Jen? What did you know. do to them? What have you made as, them? They started out as my sweet baby boy, and then everything changed when I opened my mouth. I got a three, by the way, so... Hi. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yes! I think Sarah does hear, but Sarah isn't gonna bring it up. I'm just gonna <laughs> declare that. Sarah's just like, what the fuck is happening right now? 
but the it's... little boy, Aaron, would you, would you like to play the little boy? <laughs> sure. The I little don't boy. Know what's happening because I just came back. Yes, the little boy has been you bribed by Arlo. What what has this little boy agreed to do for like five dollars? Five dollars and a lollipop, first of all, and um, he has agreed to go along with a bit that he's my nephew and he has social anxiety, so he doesn't really want to talk to anyone, and he's just gonna leave after I give him the lollipop and five dollars. <laughs> What is happening? Yeah, poor people though. Like, just tall people. <laughs> Listen, I am four feet eight inches tall. I can talk about tall people. Sarah, you're short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but damn, the amount of one liners that you've had today is truly wrecking me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Parker, you're right! <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> this has gone way off the rail. I can in a way I could never imagine possible. <laughs> I know! Matthew's gonna be watching this VOD and be like, what happened to my sweet baby children who like correctly played this game with no rolls? This is your first introduction to who I am as a person, and I'm sorry. Listen, Jen, please stop pretending that you're not always this chaotic. Hush, Allie, the whole point of my nature is that they don't know I'm crazy until it's too late. Well, it's too late. God damn it. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's happening. Oh yeah, the little boy is going along with being Arlo's <laughs> nephew named Charlie. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, I have okay. a- my side hurts from her laughing. Sarah, can you ask the kid what his deal is? Please. Uh, kid, <laughs> little guy, what's- what's going on, bud? My mommy told me not to talk to strangers. <laughs> but you- um, you're in a GameStop alone. <laughs> well, my sister was supposed to be watching me, and my mom knew that my family worked here, so. Yeah, like, Charlie here, he's such a darling nephew. He's the cutest, sweetest person. Like, have you seen his face? He has the cutest face. And all he wants is Animal Crossing, which we can definitely get for him, but, like, you see his beautiful face. Like, you see how identical we are. We're basically, we're related. Could like, I declare this... something? <laughs> Could I declare that Ona and Charlie arrive now? <laughs> yes, I was about to say. So how do we the do manager that? just goes, oh, thank goodness. Someone else how will deal with it. Um, hey, hey, folks. What's going on here? Wait, is this Ona? <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like, well, like, Izzy called me worried about a kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, hey, Arlo, yeah, Arlo, yeah. would you mind yeah. just just bringing the child a little to your left? Why specifically? Because the lighting's just, just right. <laughs> So just a tad. <laughs> the child, despite his age, takes you off and moves farther into the darkness. Harlow would definitely Arlo. be that person who would try and stand like Simba on the Pride Rock and be like the circle of life, but like with no Simba. You're you're lucky. I'm talented and can make this work. Okay, give me a minute. So, just... It's illegal to photograph kids without their parents' permission. Well, Not if it's illegal, public place. You break the law in this game. Stop! I make sure we <laughs> never break the law in this game. <laughs> you know, I just I don't. <laughs> um, kid, laws don't apply place, here. I can take pictures of anyone I like, and um, I'm not a lawyer. You. 
have no appreciation for the art. I can tell. Okay, okay. But Charlie, you can get some sweet ass pictures of my puppets made of like pamphlets from these games and my beautiful face. Like my makeup. You made the puppets? (laughs) You didn't say I didn't make puppets. Sarah was like, what are you doing? (laughs) Okay, I think I've got enough pictures that can make it work. Why did you kidnap this child, Arlo? (laughs) Kidnapping is such a definite term. I don't consider it kidnapping. This is my nephew. His name is also Charlie. And he just came to me and he wanted Animal Crossing. And I was about to give it to him, except Mr. Bossman is so intimidating because he's so tall. And my poor little nephew just froze up, but he was just leaving. I was going to let him go back to his parents. It's fine. Let him go back to his parents. Single tear. This kid is like acting. <laughs> this is the best child actor since Millie Bobby Brown. Yes. <laughs> They're just like a single tear, just like big eyes. Just like, oh, oh, oh Charlie is appreciating this. And Charlie's going, Arlo, you got a good one. This is amazing. You got a good one. Why is <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Oh, Taylor, no, why is Charlie the creepiest person? <laughs> oh my God. I think I've got some really good shots. Thank you, small child. See, your just... name's not Charlie, but cool. Charlie uh... is wonderful. And you know, <laughs> I think I think he's had so much and interaction for today. Social anxiety is a bitch like that, believe me. I've been there. I think I think it's so... back to his parents. Yeah, Ona knows where the parents are, right? Uh, do ya? Ona? Oh, no. Um, I mean, yeah. Izzy was afraid that he'd been kidnapped, so... Well, he obviously has, and he's fine, you know, everything's fine. A little a little overwhelmed, but it's okay. Mild I'm gonna text Izzy been. and say, Arlo didn't kidnap the child. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's their nephew. <laughs> Three dots, and then like a minute wait, and then okay? Question mark. The child, he's just about to go back to his parents. It's fine. It's fine. And then I'm like, weren't you worried about this child being kidnapped? <laughs> <laughs> and then the manager's like, yeah, okay. but. The whole nephew thing does not hold up. Okay. Then it just, like this one. just, just, um, can you get the kid out of my hair or not? Like, I don't just deal with it, please. I mean, I don't technically work in this part of the mall. Um, but you're more security. Yeah, but like. I work over in Sephora. Yeah, he... Ona does. He's great. His makeup skills are always on point. <laughs> that's that's great, Arlo. How about all of you go and take the kid to the park? Oh, how about you take it to Sephora, and then more security can deal with it. Take that's the child not... to Sephora. <clears throat> yes. And then apparently it's more security's jurisdiction. I mean, this is just Charlie's jurisdiction, not my jurisdiction. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. We got it. We can take the kid. Awesome. You get a text back from Izzy. He's like, so is the child coming back or what? Where? Where where is he? Where is the child going? (laughs) The food court to meet his parents. Okay, we're taking the kid to the food court. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna go via the window. Just what? What, Charlie? I just this kid's really good and like. Here's a request. (laughs) I want you to roll to convince the manager that it would be reasonable to let you pull a child out a window. Because like, no, we're not a window. window. 
not putting a child out a window. We're, We're just walking the past window. the window on the way to the food court. Wait, where? <laughs> I've told you that my nephew Charlie yeah, doesn't like to be photographed. I think we should respect his wishes and let him go home. <laughs> Okay, I'm going back to work. Okay, great. Is part of my work helping you get this child to the food court, or do you get yeah, that, Charlie? Yeah, no. Charlie, I feel like no, Charlie would own it. I want to go yeah. back. Yeah, I don't like any of you. Exactly. He's just like me. I mean, um, just take him. Oh, by the okay. way. While you, while Charlie and Ona are arguing who's taking the child, I'm gonna slip Charlie the nephew the stuff that I owe him. Um, please roll to have the manager not see. <laughs> oh, what? I rolled a one. That's good. Holy shit. <laughs> Here's a question. Are you gonna fucking push it and move another one to cred? I can't hear you, what? Are you going to push it and move another one to cred? Or are you going to leave your scores how they are? Well, because that would leave me with one point to corporate. <laughs> yup. And I don't know, like, because, like, didn't you say something happens when you go too low on something? Like, what did you say happens? If you hit six in anything, you... what What is the exact wording? Let me find it. <clears throat> you max out... If your corporate stat reaches 6, you sell out and buy into what the man is selling. If your cred stat reaches 6, you give everyone the finger and walk out. Either way, it, you max out and are no longer working with the group. You may be even, even be actively opposing them. You become a chaotic uh, and unpredictable us. force in the mall. I feel like Arlo's kind of already bad. Yeah, I feel like uh -huh. they are. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, also, do, does max and can't I just choose to like never max out and go to six? Like, is that a thing? Or no, I th think you're supposed to basically if it falls into the category of like this type of success, you're supposed to do it, and it's a way to sort of keep characters balanced so that they're not just being chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh so like they force you to do some stuff by the book to keep uh -huh. you in the game. Uh huh. So, um, like, if I max out, then it's game over for me. I mean, you don't leave. <laughs> I just but... get fired? No, you quit. But oh, I don't I... know if Arlo would quit. I feel like Arlo might get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Arlo wants to save GameStop, okay? I feel like Arlo's gonna end up getting fired by the end of this game and refusing to leave the fucking GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> Arlo is determined to save GameStop so it doesn't close down. It's a conspiracy. The manager um, is friends with Arlo's parents. So. Yeah, because <laughs> when you find success in chaos or impulsiveness or by breaking the rules, move one point from corporate to cred. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that moving one point from corporate to cred would leave me with one with cred and five, or no, one with corporate and five with cred, which, you know, might fit along with Arlo, but I feel like that's pushing it. Like, what if Arlo suddenly decides to follow the rules for their own chaotic agenda? Yes. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a pass on this one, but you're gonna have to start thinking about balancing your character. Okay, I have to find- wait, so- now Or I are you gonna start maxing out if you have to keep making cred rolls? Wait, so now you have to do- wait, if you do something chaotic, you have to move one from cred If to you succeed- in that way, you're technically supposed to adjust your stats oh. like that. Oh, I thought we could choose if we did it or not. Um, you can kind of, but like, if you keep pushing it like that, you're gonna have to move them. <laughs> Fine, I'll find a way to follow the law in order to further my chaotic agenda. Okay, and then you can also, like, you can voluntarily, once per beat, you can voluntarily <laughs> move one point from cred to corporate by taking on more responsibilities or by publicly agreeing with someone in power. Describe you how you do this. More responsibilities how, does the, how does this negatively affect your reputation with other employees? Or you can voluntarily move one point from corporate to cred by publicly blowing off your responsibilities or calling out someone in power. Describe how you do okay. this. <laughs> sure, okay. The, uh, listen. 
I'm just telling you, you're getting awful chaotic, and I appreciate it, but the rules don't. <laughs> and what did you say? I appreciate how chaotic you're being, but the rules are gonna catch up to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll, f I'll find a way to follow the rules somehow. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave my stats the way they are, though. I'm not gonna, like, move one. Alrighty. Um, I don't know what's happening anymore, but is this scene over? <laughs> Oh yeah, I think Charlie, yeah. like the kid, Charlie's going to the food court with Ona. I think Charlie wants to take pictures of him on the way, but let's see, let's just see where our next scene takes us. So <laughs> I think we've done half of our scenes for the morning. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna say, as the kid is walking past Charlie, he totally kicks them in the knee. Oh wow. Oh, fair Full enough. on hard. My god. My oh, god. damn. I am so proud of my nephew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's who's taking the next scene? Amadea or Erin? <laughs> <laughs> I will. Just the aftermath of the mall, of the kidnapping. <laughs> you say kidnapping, I say this was just my nephew and you all made him anxious. <laughs> he just needs five dollars and a lollipop, and he's fine. <laughs> okay. So, Izzy is peopling, which she does not like to do. She's she is not happy about. It. She's trying to console this poor child's parents. She will not understand that she has a job to do, and will not leave her alone to serve the other customers in line. But she's trying to console this poor child's parents. <laughs> yeah. She's when you see her, she's looking very done with everything. <laughs> her curls are coming out her of her ponytail and it's like a mess. She's just emotionally done with everything right now. <laughs> So is your scene and, us walking up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're coming into the food court with the child. Okay. And just um. take it. Hey, are these your parents? Yeah? Okay, you can go. <laughs> like, <laughs> why are you still with us? Shut up. And he walked away. <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. That's a five year old. Hey, that bye. is an accurate five year old. And his parents, he, his parents turn around to see this child coming up to him, sucking on a lollipop, which they know he did not have before. <laughs> like, and off into the corner, off in like the corner of the food court, sort of like sulking, uh, is the glue. <laughs> and they just look at each other and back at you. <laughs> Like, and you see, just slump it down on the on the counter. Just puts her head head against her um hands. Just. I want to wave and then I want to head back to Sephora. <laughs> you get a t your phone buzzes with a text from Eddie. It's just like. This whole encounter took 20 years off my life. <laughs> and I'm gonna text back, Hey Izzy, if you knew where their child was, why didn't you tell them to go there? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if that was their child. I also did not tell you to go investigate. You did! 
I did not, actually. I was. I asked you. No, you texted me because you were worried that there was a kidnapped child in the GameStop. Why didn't you text me? You texted me because I was mall security. I texted you to ask if you knew who was working in the GameStop. You, no! <laughs> what? That's not what you did! Why are you gaslighting me, Izzy? <laughs> well... <laughs> and Izzy does the most pathetic, chaotic thing they can do, which is to open a group chat. Oh no. Her, you, How fucking and dare Lamar. you. How fucking dare you. <laughs> How fucking dare you, Izzy. She doesn't say anything in the group chat. But she just... But you just know it exists now. What, what platform is this on? What platform? Are we texting? Or, sure. like, we on, like, fucking Facebook Messenger or some shit? Probably Facebook Messenger because, you know, we're the kids. Yeah, I'm unfriending you. <laughs> I don't Wait, give I a that? shit if you're my cousin. <laughs> you, if he sees that you unfriend her and she blocks you. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Fucking block me, Izzy. I literally just did what you asked because you make no sense ever. I'm going back to <laughs> Sephora. <laughs> I'm going back to Sephora. Okay. Am, wait, what is this chat for? Am I in it? No, it's just... It's just... It was just me and him, and then I added his mom. Oh. But we're oh. still in this chat together, because just... Well, no, because you blocked me, so we're not in the chat anymore. No, you can still be in the chat, but, ev but you, every time... It, you can't be in a chat with someone you block, can you? Yes, you can... It just like t every time you open it, it asks you if you want to leave. Oh, or, okay. Or I don't think it. I think it warns you mm. or something. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm going back to fucking work. <laughs> Do we have anything else in this scene? <laughs> And he's just gonna close down Burger King. It's morning! What are you doing? Or, you know what? How we have work here? here? We and haven't even hit lunchtime yet. Our next beat is lunchtime, Erin. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost <laughs> lunchtime and you're closing down the Burger <laughs> King. Izzy doesn't care. <laughs> this no is one's your first Burger day King back me. after being injured. <laughs> Coworkers probably here by now. And so are you says, closing I'll down the Burger King? I'll be back in ten. Just keep it open. I'll be back. I promise. <laughs> and then she just leaves. I to where? That. She drives the hamburger around the parking lot a couple times. <laughs> Question, does this truck have a lot of kickback, or is that just me imagining it? <laughs> no, it's it's actually a pretty smooth truck. Oh, okay. But she, the reason she does this is that she knows that Sephora is one of the anchor stores, and so there's a lot of windows. And so, if Owen is paying attention, or Owen is actually like looking out the window, he can see Izzy driving around in the hamburger. <laughs> you think I give a fuck? You think I give a fuck? Oh no. Cause you're wrong. But, but, I am gonna post a really long, like, rant on my Instagram story about how, like, ungrateful family is for when you help them out. <laughs> and I haven't blocked you on Instagram. Um, I don't follow you back, though, if you follow me. Mm. Oh, Izzy does not follow you. Perfect. Most people at school follow me, though. Because we be no, doing that. Izzy's account, Izzy's account is exclusively thirst traps. 
of her sweaty, but like full muscle, and pictures of her injuries. Damn. Oh my god, it. why? She doesn't care. No, but like, he is like, just like on his story being like, I literally, I just don't, I don't even know what's happening anymore. My cousin who like, asked me for a favor, asked me to go check something out where it wasn't even my job to do it, and then she gets angry at me, and they just, like, add me to a group chat with my mom because they're mad at me for doing exactly what they asked me to do, and I just don't even know anymore. I don't even know. I don't know anymore why I deal with them. <laughs> And then I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, like, say your full name, and I'm, like, gonna call you out. So if any of your friends follow me, they know that I actively, explicitly called you out in front of, like, a third of the school's population on my Instagram story. <laughs> <laughs> just, just putting that out there. Well, I'm done with this scene. Alantea, do you want the last morning scene? Okay. It's still only morning. <laughs> Listen. Um, oh, yeah. So, I'm gonna be one around. And I think... I probably... Mm -hmm. I don't have any reason to have a baby, though. So, I'm gonna have been with Oma, I guess. Um, just wandering around and seeing if you've got any good gossip to spill about, um, Izzy, because I'm into the drama. I'm definitely, I'm in a point where I'm very, very angry at Izzy. So this is definitely yeah. the time to go after Ona for the drama. And, like, yeah. they might, like, call Izzy out on social media, but they're not about to, like, explicitly, like, drop the tea about not their personal situations on Instagram. That's for Snapchat. <laughs> and in person. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I feel like Ona knows a whole fucking lot about Izzy, because not only are they related, but they ride in the car together all the time. Yeah. Um, and you're getting a lot of it. I will let Erin decide what, like, shit Ona is giving you yeah. about Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> what has Izzy gotten up to, Erin? <laughs> hmm. Now I'm trying to decide what secrets Izzy has. <laughs> I feel like you definitely have drama with at least two ex-girlfriends. Oh. Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one of them tried to steal your truck. No, what happened <gasps> was... I- okay, no, I heard a rumor- before. no, wait, wait, wait. I heard a rumor that one of your ex-girlfriends knows who your truck belongs to. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna oh. say let's bring Sarah or Nat and Natasha into Oh shit. Oh yeah, Izzy. Does <laughs> Izzy did Izzy does Izzy know Sarah? <clears throat> Probably not. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> The tea with Izzy is everyone so her ex-girlfriend thought she cheated on her but it was a totally misconstrued construed situation that did that did not happen the way that Izzy's ex did at all but she also doesn't want to throw the other uh, person under the bus. Because... I'm trying to think of what happened. I have- I did not- See, 
The things we don't plan for. <laughs> Aaron, it's really bold of you to imagine that I planned any of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, no. So, Izzy's ex walked in on them with, um... But it wasn't cheating, the other though. other parties <laughs> off. But what, ha- what had happened was Izzy and the other one had jumped off a tree into the lake after Izzy thought it would be a grand idea and the other girl like probably broke her shoulder blade but like Izzy was checking it out to make sure because Izzy now was injuries like the back of her hand but the other person I really just have to say that like I was checking to see if her shoulder blade was broken. Sounds like the worst excuse to, like, say you weren't cheating ever. <laughs> yeah, literally. Literally, that's what happened. <laughs> but also, her, the other girl's mom hates Izzy because Izzy's a fucking troublemaker. And so Izzy wasn't going to be like, oh, hey this, hey, this is why I was hanging out with her daughter. Sorry, she might have broken her shoulder blade. <laughs> and so... She Do you not know if that her. happened? Did she break her shoulder blade? No, she didn't. It was just severely bruised. And she, the other girl managed to hide it for long enough that it was fine afterwards. So, Izzy was like, okay, I'm not going to drag this poor girl through the mud. Aaron. Listen. Erin, the last thing we heard was drag this girl through the mud. (laughs) (laughs) And then you turned all crackly. I have a death wish. I'm literally going to the store tomorrow to get better fucking headphones. <laughs> I hope you understand. Yes. Erin, okay, just no. buy a mic. With what money? <laughs> yeah. The yeah. headphones money. <laughs> <laughs> These were at five below. Leave me alone. <laughs> I love five below. You're valid. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what's- so that's the tea. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I feel like Charlie doesn't care about that, though. <laughs> no, Charlie is really not sure that they can turn- I feel- what- I, I wanna think what- What- what could we do? Like... But I really think- I- I do know that, like, one of your ex-girlfriends, like, knows who had your truck, like, whose truck that fucking is, Mm -hmm. and how you got it, and, like, I want to know so bad, and so I'm like, Charlie, she knows. She was probably with me when I got it. Yeah. Yeah, the truck. She knows about the truck? She knows who it belongs to and where they got it. Nah, 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 no one knows about the truck. She does. Like, for sure. I'm just, I'm, it's just funny because I'm just picturing them talking with the truck as. This <laughs> speeds by it's in like the background. With the truck. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, no, like, legit, like, <laughs> they didn't <laughs> tell me, but like, they were dating when Izzy got the truck. And, like, she was the one that told me that Izzy got a truck. Like, she didn't tell me where Izzy got it. But, like, she was like, yeah, we were out, and, like, like, I asked her when Izzy brought it to, like, a party, and then I was like, yo, what? What? And then Izzy wouldn't talk to me because she was being the worst, as usual. (laughs) And so I was, I asked her, their girlfriend, and I was just like, and she was like, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I know. And she just, like, smiled at me, and she knows. She wasn't kidding. She knows. And, I don't know, 
She might hate them enough to tell us. I think it's not the one that you kind of almost didn't cheat on. I think it's someone else, but I feel like a lot of people hate you. <laughs> okay. And we can work with that. Yeah, I, I like, really want to know. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's our time to finally figure out the... Charlie, Charlie, you know what? We could be the what? perfect team. Oh no. <laughs> you you could take pictures and then I could publish some on my Instagram. I could be I could provide you with your audience. Uh, yeah. Everyone yeah. at school wants to know about the truck. We can like post like if you want to you I know I know you like 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 personal like in-person exhibits but like we could post like yeah. a sneak peek and get everybody go it, to like, it like you know those viral marketing campaigns mm -hmm. where just, yep like <laughs> and they don't necessarily explain what it is but they have a date and a time and photos yeah just... and it's just gonna be it's it we could do like if you could get the picture and it could just be like just enough that you know it's the truck yeah. And we could name it, like, Answers Are Coming. Yes. You're yeah. a genius. Yeah. I... We're... <laughs> yeah, we've We're... got this. We've got this. Amazing. Okay. So, you got to tell me everything we know about the sex friend. Let's, let's get on it. Erin, <laughs> please tell me about your... <laughs> your character's ex-girlfriend <laughs> just because i want to know i'm not going to exposit it all back but i need to know what what sort of situation we're up against here it was actually a very amicable break breakup um they both realized it's like izzy's far too chaotic for me this girl's way too straight laced for me we're we good um they're still friends. Like, they'll hang out sometime. If it might be a casual hookup situation, no one knows. <laughs> no one knows. Yeah, but um, but... Whoa. It's an ugly bug. No, but no bugs. None yeah, no, bugs. lunch is crawling on my screen. I hate mm -mm. it. Yeah, but it's like an amicable breakup. They still hang out, maybe hook up. No one really knows. Um, does not, ex-girlfriend does not work at the mall. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, actually, you know what? At this mall, but they do work at a mall. No, okay. Alright, alright, alright. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna link these two worlds right now. I'm gonna all link right, our two right. worlds. Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Their, their ex-girlfriend is... Colby. Colby is their ex. Dang. Really? Okay, <laughs> but to be fucking real, you're not hooking up anymore. <laughs> Colby, another character that I don't know about. Yeah, Colby's from the last Mall Kids game. So oh, I'm gonna be like, it's it's Colby. Like I know that they're going to another school now, but yeah. Complicates things. Hmm. How can we? How can we get it? I wonder, you know what? Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a GameStop at that mall. Oh, yeah, well that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I mean, if there's a GameStop at that mall, you know, they might have some tips on how to make a GameStop better so that it wouldn't, I don't know, yeah, go out I... of business. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
get what? some points. This is not the problem we were trying to solve, guys. <laughs> It should be the most important problem. Game Listen, Erin, both of our both of our goals is to discover a secret. Okay. <laughs> the secret is a game of conspiracy of zero. <laughs> and we um, already know that Charlie enables Arlo's delusions. <laughs> and you know what? I think if the GameStop manager signed off with an us as more security accompanying Arlo to go and find out about Kasperis at the other GameStop. What are you doing? We might get out of, like, working at the mall. We could be allowed to fight. It happens occasionally. Yeah, and I mean, so I've heard. I mean, it would it would be so hard to get a manager to agree with an employee they so badly want to keep in store. What exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great. The only hitch is we might need the truck to get us there. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh. is he the only one who can drive? Well, I can't message her anymore because I unfriended her. <laughs> We're not currently speaking. Um, Izzy doesn't know, like, doesn't have anything to do with me. I'm out. That one. Should we just leave? Arlo should do it. Could we ask the manager to send us? Yes. <laughs> and then Arlo will need to ask for a ride from Izzy and we'll accompany them? True. That's. <laughs> yeah, that works perfectly. We need a ride. Izzy won't mind blowing off. It's cool. I think we need to go. I want to make a roll to like go convince the manager. Yeah. Join the chaos. Um, do I have anything? I don't really have anything that would help me in this. Um, can... Well, other than can Arlo being a like? Yeah, a yeah. I can get another <laughs> die from a player. Well, I can get another die from you, but we'll both face the consequences, which makes sense. Um, yeah. Because we're both it. Three, three anyway. Okay, so I feel like this is probably a cred roll. We're like trying to like yeah work in yeah. the system. Um. Uh. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> uh. Well, what? So, so oh, no. here's so here's the thing, oh, oh, Jaya. No. <laughs> so here's so here's the thing about this this dice roll that I just did. Mm -hmm. Um, I may well I I I um I rolled a four on one, and then I rolled a six on the other one. Oh well, okay. So neither of those are good enough. Neither succeed, but and it just gets worse. I don't know. Fuck. Um. Yeah. It it just. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how this get get worse. <laughs> um, I think we're still already the worst we can be. I think we don't get into the GameStop. <laughs> You're blocked from GameStop? Are we banned? Are we permanently banned from GameStop? Yes. I think so. Why, but why are you permanently banned from GameStop? I don't, we don't the know. The is just done. We yeah. just walk in. And we walk like, in and then they're no, like... No. Get out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not I even was like doing an interpretive dance in the background trying to describe why, but you can't understand it. It's not even a get out. It's like a no, sorry, you're not allowed here anymore. <laughs> sorry, sorry, you're not allowed here anymore. And we're like, but but sir, but sir. And he's like, no, no, sorry, no. you're not allowed here no. anymore. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. It's I'm using the shadow puppets I made and doing an interpretive dance with them, and you just don't get it. 
And we're like, well, I mean, okay, I guess we're not allowed here anymore. <laughs> Forcibly so, removed from GameStop. <laughs> well, we're the mall security and we're the ones being removed. <laughs> yeah, really? You're removing yourself? Um... We're removing each other. Yeah. We're like, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. we're, at, we're not allowed in here anymore. Okay. Fine. Okay. Alrighty. Well, and take two. Yeah, do we want to call that our scene? Us getting ejected from the game stop? <laughs> yep. I think that's the end of the morning. Yep, that's the end. It's lunchtime. Oh god, it's only lunch. I mean, okay. Yeah, you realize it's almost 10 o'clock, right? Yeah, and okay, the, actually, the way that the rules work for this are that you don't have to play out the entire day. If the, your group feels like you're reaching a, just a stopping point, there's no reason to press on when you're not having fun. Let me find the wording. It's actually really <laughs> nice, so I want to read it. We've achieved absolutely nothing. <laughs> Excuse me. I think Arlo had a great warning. Yeah, it says, the game ends after the last scene of the afternoon, the after hours beat. Alternatively, if half or more of the players have maxed out, or at any time the pl game is no longer exciting or interesting, you might want to call it quits. It's your story to start, finish, or redo as you see fit. Redo as you see fit. So as soon as we want to stop, we can stop. Aw, I love that. I know, Matthew's mm -hmm. the greatest. Truly, truly the best. <laughs> um... So, yeah, but we're going into a little bit of lunch if we want to do some lunch. Yeah. Shenanigans. Who's gonna call some lunch? I feel like we are truly, like, no matter what happens the rest of this game, all of us are gonna leave this mall unsatisfied. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, there's just no other way that it goes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we were supposed to progress much faster through the day, but, like... We were, but reason. to be to be clear, why. you're not supposed to play opening hours like I do. I just enjoy, like, I feel like oh, we okay. get so much exposition done in opening, particularly with making a person drive me to work every time. <laughs> <laughs> like, we wouldn't have the truck if we didn't have our opening hours seen. We would have just already been there. I okay. think it was great. I think a lot of good came from it. <laughs> yeah. I think... I think that's when I discovered how chaotic Arlo really is. If we're doing lunch, yep. I'll just call with... Because I think Charlie's set on this plan, so we'll be eating because it's easy, and if Izzy wants to jump in. But specifically eating with Arlo and Ona. In the food court? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just so that we're sort of together in a clump maybe i'm this game. going to go <laughs> order food wait are you back at work at lunch yeah, yeah i totally. want to go order food at burger king oh no absolutely immediately oh no okay i'm next in line Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay so I finish up the order in front of me, and they're, you know, they're happy. Their kids are happy. They got their chicken nuggets. It's fine. <laughs> I love and, how you know, not a single theory. person has ordered a burger from this Burger King in your entire <laughs> story about it being a burger. <laughs> it's like Dunkin' Donuts. The donuts are shit. Stop. Do not hate... Boston cream donuts for, from Dunkin' Donuts are <laughs> oh, no. fucking incredible. Dunkin' Donuts is the worst donuts I've ever tasted in my fucking life. No, I am you. you're okay, just a minute. goddamn coward, I'm Jen. Jen. You're just a right. fucking coward. I am not a fucking coward. I'm the bravest bitch in this hole. No, because you're Texas wrong. Do it right. You're in Texas fucking donuts Massachusetts donuts. and you're shitting on Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin donuts. What is wrong <laughs> with you? New England donuts. Okay, okay. It. Let's go back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but Dunkin' Donuts suck. Go on. Oh. Okay, I'm in line. <laughs> okay. And so, Izzy finishes up that order. And... My little face turns to you, does not drop the smile. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts! <laughs> 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 it was a disguise the whole time. Oh, and he does not say that. Oh, 
<laughs> Listen, everybody makes mistakes, <laughs> even Izzy. <laughs> I love it. Hi, welcome to Chili. <laughs> Okay, oh, fine, fine, she says that. She catches herself. She bursts out laughing hysterically. <laughs> like, you can tell she might be actually losing it right now. <laughs> I feel like this accidentally makes me forgive Izzy a little bit. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, you cannot walk up to a burger. Like, imagine you're really angry at someone. <laughs> you walk up to their Burger King. They look you straight in the face, smiling, and say, Hi, hey, welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Could you really stay mad at that person? No. Okay. You're <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Okay, so they're, like, wheezing. But you can also tell they were maybe not happy before because their eyes are like red. But oh they, they just finish laughing. They collect themselves. And they're like, Do you want a burger donut? <laughs> like, and that owner's like, Hey, can I get a dozen donuts, please? <laughs> <laughs> but no, really, I want a burger. <laughs> okay, do you want anything on it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just make me a burger, Izzy. <laughs> okay. And then they walk back to the grill. The infamous grill that probably has some of their hand skin on it. <laughs> their hand skin? Do you not wash it for weeks, Izzy? Izzy hasn't been here. Izzy doesn't know. But she walks <laughs> back and... As she's putting the burger, to burger together, she's grilling it, and you can just start to see her back is to you, and you cannot see what she's doing to the burger, but she has a knife, and she's suddenly laughing hysterically to herself. A knife! Oh, no! no. <laughs> oh no. But she wraps it up, she gives you the burger, and she's like trying not to laugh hysterically. Are you trying to make Ona a cannibal? <laughs> no, but you walk- so, she gives you the burger, she doesn't say anything, but she just, like, smiles, and she just waits for you to sit down, and eat it. Um, I'm gonna walk over and give it to Arlo, because I was actually buying them lunch. Oh, no! <laughs> Well, I hate when, Arlo un when Arlo unwraps the burger, there's a hole in the middle. <laughs> like a donut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But Arlo definitely is that person who would look at it and go, huh, a dough burger. <laughs> I am laughing, but because I was genuinely- <laughs> Dough burger. <laughs> or, a, or a burnut? No, dough burger. Dough burger. A burnut. <laughs> Guys, this is hilarious. We should make a business full of dough burgers. It's gonna be a hit. You just turn back to see Andy, and she's like, she's like collapsed, just laughing. See, they get it. Dough burgers will be the new thing. Here's, don't need burgers. This is not related to the scene, so I apologize for bringing it up. But did the GameStop register ever get turned back on? Oh yeah. <laughs> And the manager so, was there. Arlo was so busy making like interpretive dances and like origami puppets. Like, I don't know. Arlo doesn't know. Arlo <laughs> doesn't know. Blurred. We'll find out later. <laughs> All right, that. Arlo is the heart of the stuff. <laughs> I firmly believe that. But I'm sitting down to eat now, with like uh -huh. my lunch that I packed from home. Uh huh. Oh my god. Okay. Are we friends with Izzy again? Does Are this we? mean we're not going to find out? The truck? I mean, I still want to know about the truck. Like, okay. it, my, my interest in the truck and my being mad at Izzy is just like a Venn diagram. <laughs> okay. Because I think I've got another plan. So you know how you do makeup? Mm-hmm. Can you do like 
Yes. Special effects makeup like maybe. <laughs> Do you think? Because if one of us got seriously in, oh no, and you need the other two for emotional support. Oh no. And it has to drive. Because it will be faster than waiting for an ambulance. But how do we get Izzy to take us there? You're friends again. That doesn't mean that they listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can confirm. That just oh, means yeah. that I don't hate them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we go with J Arlo getting work experience to Izzy. So that Arlo can get tips from the other game. On so, how to save let me game. say that, like, maybe we're doing this, like, just out of Arlo's earshot. <laughs> oh, aren't I sitting at the same table with yeah, you Yeah, but I, I, I'm thinking that we, we had this conversation. Can we say we had this conversation, like, waiting in line for you to get your food? Okay. Um, and I'm gonna, like look over Arlo and say loud enough for Arlo to hear, like, wow, I can't believe the GameStop at that other mall is performing so much better than this GameStop. I wonder what they're doing that's so much better than the GameStop at this mall. <laughs> they must have had... some secret that they are keeping from the, the manager and workers here that's going to keep them doing such good business. Mm. Yeah. I bet if someone went to that GameStop and got all the secrets, they'd be able to save our GameStop without I mean, even thinking about it. That sounds like logic to me. It really does. <laughs> and Arlo, Arlo's just sitting there completely, like, unaware that all of this is being said out loud, loudly, on purpose. It's just like, huh. <laughs> You know, I am the heart and soul of this very GameStop. <laughs> I would do anything to make sure that this GameStop does not go out of business. I feel like it would be wise if maybe I tagged along. I don't know how I'm going to convince Arlo them. Arlo but... just thinks it's a turtle monologue. <laughs> <laughs> I, we'll see if some Arlo doesn't do internal monologues, like for every situation. <laughs> I'm just imagining that Arlo never does an internal monologue and just thinks that internal monologue is like just other people talking and entering their subconscious. Yeah, pretty much. Like it's, it's they they in their very souls they need Arlo. They need me to come along in order to ensure but, that the GameStop does not close down because they love it just as much as I do, even though I am the king. I am like the overruler of GameStop. I'm the king of GameStop. <laughs> I am the very but, heart and soul. Yeah. So but the see, only question would be why, like, because I think that our skills as a security officer and someone who works at Sephora would also be really good at picking up the details of what's different about this other games. Don't you? Yeah, I mean, if, if, if it, like, the owners of this mall were to put together, like, an investigation, like, we would definitely, like, top on the list of people that need to go to get a good look at what's going on over there. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. I was thinking to themselves right now, hmm. I think they need me to go because I'm the only one who can truly understand the language of GameStop. <laughs> I feel like it's very important to this mission that I tag along, but how do I, how on earth do I get on my hands and knees and beg them to let me go to this ethereal GameStop? What do I have to do? Also, I just want to remind everyone that Arlo's supposed to be asking out Natasha. <laughs> oh, I know this too. <laughs> you do! <laughs> Holy shit! And you know what? I think Natasha would really be into one who could save a GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a monumental feat that I I just know Natasha really really be into that. Yeah, she she totally wouldn't want to go along, but like I think that she would want us to help to make sure that like everything is done to like security officer standards. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Mm -hmm. Like, I don't- we clearly couldn't be trusted with the big responsibility, 
but I mean, we could, we would have to go along for Natasha to be happy about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I think, I think Natasha would know, like, <clears throat> if it's some, like, that someone who actually saves Stop would have to have a worth bunch of game stop. But yeah, she'd probably think that it would be irresponsible to go without a good security and someone who works as for us. <laughs> <laughs> so at the mention of Natasha, Arlo almost like passes out <laughs> because Arlo adores Natasha and her big strong arms so much. <laughs> and they're just sitting there, more internal monologuing. They have this daydream where they're so you have the GameStop cash register has been turned into a throne. Arlo is sitting on top of it. They have the deed to GameStop and a promise from the president that it will always stay open forever. <laughs> and there's glitter, specifically hollow glitter, falling down. Hello, taco. Thank you, whoever said that. That yes, was me. Exactly. <laughs> Um, just, just hollow glitter falling down everywhere, getting in everyone's hair, everyone's clothes. It's not going anywhere forever. And you just have Natasha coming up to them and going, you, please marry me. And Arlo starts crying. <laughs> All of this happens in like 0.2 seconds in their head. And then they go, I have to go to this other game stop, get their secrets so Natasha will marry me. <laughs> And so I make sure GameStop doesn't close down, because other if, if if I don't put my heart and soul into GameStop, it's going to close down. <laughs> my sister said so a year ago at 3 a.m. when we were both definitely tired beyond belief. So it has to be true. And like you know that that stuff happens because like a couple months after that blockbuster shut down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was a premonition. Uh, the GameStop is next on the list, and I have to prevent that. And I can prevent GameStop from closing down. And like Natasha will want to marry me if I just do this one thing. It's perfect. So yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> so I I get my dough burger, my Dover. <laughs> my Dover. And I, I, <laughs> because it was you, it was Ona that gave it to me. So I'm just going to go to Ona, please. I do not know if I am worthy of such a great gift and wonderful business opportunity. But you know what else is a wonderful business opportunity? Saving GameStop. It's what everyone in this country needs. If we save GameStop, everything will be solved. And I think I'm the person who can help you accomplish that. And that can only be accomplished if you let me go with you to this other mall so I can learn their secrets. I mean, Please. Arlo, I would love to, like, let you go with us. But honestly, it would be us going with you. We don't have a plan to get there. We just think that, you know, Natasha suggested that it might be the right decision. Natasha. Uh, Arlo almost faints again, but it's fine. It's fine. He's t- <laughs> she's she's just so beautiful in their head, and he so they just stand up and go, uh, it's fine. I'm fine. I didn't almost faint because Natasha's beautiful. It's fine. <laughs> and so Arlo's thinking, hmm, how on earth do we get to this other mall? Well, the only person Arlo, I don't even think Arlo knows Izzy. Did we establish that? I don't think we did. Um, I don't know. I mean, I know Ona, and I feel like I know that Ona gets to work in a truck. Yeah, you know that Ona gets driven by someone. Well, you probably know about yeah. the truck. I feel like yeah, the truck is and you infamous. know about the truck. So, yeah, I'd say you know about Izzy. So maybe. So wait, is Izzy sitting at the same? Is Izzy sitting at the same table? Izzy's at work. Oh wait, Izzy's at Burger King. Sorry, Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy made your Dover. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait! So I'm already a fan of them. So maybe, maybe I, tr- maybe I try to get in line and uh, try to convince them <laughs> to, to to like drive us to this other ball. I like how like Charlie and Oda do not have a plan, and they're like, we'll just be Arlo to do it. Yeah, we'll and just be Arlo. Is- we'll just tag along and do what we want to do while they're at the mall, because we don't give a shit about a GameStop. Because the GameStop's <laughs> not in trouble. I, I'll be careful not to it up to get to this other ball, whatever it takes. And we just gotta tag along. And fight. Make sure you don't say that part about GameStop out loud, Arlo. Oh, we oh, definitely wouldn't. No, it's just it's just known. 
<laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely gonna go to try to go to Izzy and like convince, convince them to take us to this other ball. <laughs> Wait, am I like I, I got in line? Is there a line? Yeah, um, it's lunchtime. It's oh yeah, it is lunchtime. <laughs> it's a really long line. And she's just making burgers left and right, not mm -hmm. really paying attention to who she's giving them to. <laughs> she picked the busiest time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it's not my fault. I have to go to GameStop now. So I think that I, uh, after some time, I'm the first person in line, and I just look at, I just look at Izzy, I just look at my dough burger, and I go, <laughs> "You brought your dough burger in line with you," <laughs> and, and I just look at Izzy, and I have to say, and I say, "I had to thank the genius that made this masterpiece. <laughs> it is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's basically an edible bracelet. It's beautiful. I can eat it on the go." I really think you have a wonderful business opportunity here. But you know it's a better business opportunity. But you know it's a better business opportunity. I've caught word that there's another mall near here. And there's another GameStop there. And I feel like you know, because everyone knows, it's very well known that GameStop is on the brink of... <laughs> Closing down, and I feel like it is our civic duty to oh, prevent God. this from happening. And if I feel like you can be part of the conspiracy. You could be the driving force to make sure this doesn't right. come true. The travesty is prevented. You you do realize that GameStop is in no danger of closing, right? Arla just kind of stares at them and goes, "What? I'm sorry." <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I, I just, excuse me, excuse me, I, I, I don't think I, I know, I'm very sure I heard you wrong. <laughs> you said GameStop is what now? No. I feel like Al, oh, I would just say Izzy deep denial. <laughs> oh, you poor, you poor, sweet, lost, confused soul. You don't understand. <laughs> the evidence points to it all. If you go to my room, if you go to my house, and you go to my room, <laughs> to my house. and you court court. With the red strings pinning clues from months ago, since the, a year ago since my sister told me GameStop was on the brink of closing down. <laughs> I can trace this back to months ago. It's a conspiracy. GameStop is on the brink of closure, and you can be the one to help stop this. Don't live in denial. Don't be a fool. Wake up. Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> GameStop's closing. <laughs> it's lunchtime at Big. There's like 20 people I <laughs> they just want... And you're like, I just want to thank you for the dough burger. Did you know that I'm dying and GameStop is closing? As we speak, GameStop continues to edge closer and closer to the brink of death. We can't allow this travesty to happen, please. Please, I know you are the great genius who made this dough burger. Surely you can find it in your mind to see that GameStop is in trouble. We must all care about GameStop in order to prevent its collapse, please. It's the most important store in America. I don't care. Whatever you're on. <laughs> what I am on, I am on the great love and admiration for GameStop. It is the heart and soul of our country. I firmly believe that if we put all of our hearts and energy and is saving it, we can bring back love and compassion. I feel like Charlie and Owen are listening to this and we're like, go oh, no, we may have made a mistake. There was, there was like fear on Lady's face. Oh no, you gotta please. fix this. <laughs> please, please, like, you don't understand. You I don't, don't know understand. how to fix this, Charlie. <laughs> Maybe you believe. Maybe you're not a believer. That's okay. All I'm asking. Please, I need to get a ride to this mall so I can learn the secrets of the other GameStop. Please, you don't have to understand, but please support me. I need your support. 
<laughs> oh, wise creator of the dough burger, please do with my bidding. Yeah, that's really helping convince them. <laughs> I know, right? What's the most <laughs> is he has never met, met Arlo before. We've made a terrible mistake, Ona. <laughs> I know. Why? Charlie, why did we think that Arlo could conv- I mean, Arlo is usually so good at convincing people of the stupidest shit. <laughs> They just did it this morning. This little child lied about being their nephew. I know. But now they're just talking about dough burgers. I'm, I'm just gonna go. Please, Izzy, please just give me a ride. That's all I need. Please, anything. Just name your price, please, dear God. I'm desperate. Also, those two are interested too. I like. I know. I kind of know them, but like, they're there too. Kind of. Know. And I point, to Charlie, I point to Charlie and Ona. Like they were there today when people kept thinking I kidnapped a child. Spoiler: I didn't actually. Kidnap I love a how child. Charlie's like canonically your friend too. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, like, I kind of know those people. <laughs> and Charlie's like, I entertain your delusions for like fifteen minutes every single morning. <laughs> they were there when I supposedly kidnapped a child. Spoiler, I didn't actually kidnap the child, it was a misunderstanding. You named your nephew after me. How could you say you barely know me? I have a job to do, I have a Burger King to do, and I'm not taking you to this fabled burger. I'm not taking you to this fabled GameStop. You're, You're not so taking them to this fabled Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> this game stops not closing. I know someone who owns one. You do? <laughs> that was oh, the wrong me. thing to say, oh, Izzy. Yeah. Okay, okay, hear me out, hear me out. I have a whole <laughs> thesis written up on the closing of GameStop and how we can prevent it. Please, just email it to them. Everything will be okay. <laughs> GameStop isn't closing. Me? Leave. <laughs> the line behind you. Get nugget. This is Burger King. Why are they getting nuggets? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm terribly sorry. All I wanted was a ride. Just know that when GameStop closes, you're going to be very sad. <laughs> Video games. What? <laughs> Arlo just walks away. Izzy's like, sorry, I only buy my games on Steam. <laughs> <sighs> so that was a bus. Is that what you say when you walk back to us? <laughs> so that was a bus, guys. They're a non-believer. I don't know if I can work with non-believers. <laughs> oh. How are we good? GameStop, Arlo. Hear me out. Okay. We hitchhike. No. <laughs> we can sing the song 500 Miles as we go. It'll be fine. Can I have what, a request? Get... Yes. May I ask this of the group? Yes. Just, just putting this idea out into the universe. Could we have Jen roll? For? To see if their impassioned speech <laughs> convinced anybody in the Burger King line to give them a ride to the other mall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, is, should I roll for it? I think so. I think it would be a cred, Again, but that's, that's up to other people whether that's a fair use of a roll. Yeah, what do you think? Before, before, before she does it, If he has, like, Ona's actual phone number, <laughs> text him and says, You murder me? <laughs> Arlo's not a murderer, they're just a dumbass. I'm just gonna text back and be like, on, Only if they don't give you, if you don't, um, come on. I, I'm just gonna text and be like, uh, they're not gonna murder you, um, they just really like GameStop. 
I'm really like, they go to school with us. <laughs> hey, I've never seen them before. You have yeah, seen have them one. before! You saw them holding the <laughs> child in the game stop. <laughs> no! I it ran out of school! They've never- Okay, so Izzy's never seen them at school before, and so the two interactions that they've had- <laughs> Situation- And the impassion- <laughs> that's ever happened to me in my life. <laughs> Not just the only thing, this is, this is it. This is my only thing that's ever happened. The only event in my life. <laughs> so wait, are we convincing, are we still convincing Izzy to give us a ride? I don't think that worked. I oh, mean, you can try. To say if Aranda and... Welcome to try. Or are you gonna, are you gonna roll to try to convince Izzy? Are you gonna allow that, Erin? Like or are we just people? gonna roll for a rando? I think we're better off with a random person <laughs> than trying Izzy again. The difficulty would be easier <laughs> to convince yeah. a total stranger. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Ona is going to try to convince Izzy, both with a roll or and or on tax. No, okay. I'm not gonna what? push it with you because we're actually going there to like talk to your ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> So, so should I roll for a rando? Yeah, I think yeah. that would be corporate. What do y'all think? Corporate? Like sure. you're using, you're trying to convince people like being nice. You're not just being like the most. I mean, you are being the no. most, but like uh, you're being the like least. The, that I thought it was been. their passion speech that some rando overheard. Do you want them to max it's out? <laughs> okay, fine. Do cred then. I don't care. No, but if I'm- I don't want to max out. That well, you you still have like one left before maxing out. Yeah, that sounds bad, Allie. But otherwise you might not get a ride. In fairness, you're not working to save goal that half of the party is working towards. I'm supposed to be asking out a girl. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, in your mind, you are working toward that goal. <laughs> I know, yeah. I just feel like, I don't know how to make this a corporate role. It's like me being nice. Okay, just do, just do your chaos crud roll. <laughs> and I'm like incredibly sweaty right now. Okay. <sighs> so, I rolled, oh god, I really don't want to max out, but oh, I rolled, you, what? You won, you got it then? I got a three. Yep, we got a ride. <laughs> With some rando. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. I oh really God. don't want to mess out. Oh my gosh, do we want to just like end this scene and scene skip to us at the other mall? Sure. Yeah, what's is he gonna do though? I don't yeah. know, what's Izzy gonna do? Izzy's- <laughs> Izzy could've Maybe. taken us to the other mall! <laughs> I mean, Izzy would have... If I hadn't scared the bejesus out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Arlis is really passionate about game stuff. Oh my god. So don't have to finish this game today because we're only half done and we've been playing for three hours. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. might wanna we might wanna call it. <laughs> we're stopping point. There might be This the oh, secondary two, mall two. might be a good stopping point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then I mean if we get some more if we get like if we get Allison back the next time we play this. Um, oh I really- we have a character at that mall. Wait, no, did- did her character quit, ever? No. No. So she still works there. So wait, Allie, question. I was- 
I was just here filling in for a friend. So next time, like, I don't think. Well, you could because okay. Yeah. So so the thing is, we're visiting the other mall, right? Yeah. So, um. As for other roles. Aaron's. Uh... Aaron's character Colby. Is okay. Aaron's character from last game, Colby, is Izzy's ex. Ex. Uh huh. And is currently dating Allison's character, right? Is that what's happening? Serenade at the end of last game with panic. It was very real. Oh my god. So no, because like I was filling in for someone, so someone else will have this space that I have right now, right? Oh, I made this overlay. I can add another spot. Yeah, it's easy. Okay, so there'll be what six? I can't count. Yeah, unless someone can't make it. But, okay. Oh my gosh! All right, this was so funny. <laughs> I'm actually so proud of this. This is great. This was so good. Our goal in the least, but you know we've made a new goal. I am honestly, I didn't come in here thinking Arlo's gonna be a chaotic dumbass obsessed with fucking GameStop, but here we are. I and I do know now where. All right, I think we're gonna raid Blap. All right, gonna what? What? We're gonna raid on Twitch, my friendo Blap. Yeah. I don't know what any of that means. My friend, <laughs> his name is Sam. He's cool uh. and a cutie. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, thanks yeah, for cool watching. Um, I feel like I've been watching a lot of Drawfy and just my desire just to say, like, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Honestly, I have never I'm done, good. like, Is this, sorry. Am Matt, I doing this wrong? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Is that, can sorry, I not do this from here? Okay. Oh, is, wait, I need to do it. Mean? I need to do it from my other thing. Am I actually reading? Are we going? Yeah. Okay. It says so. I can't it do it, it very well on um mobile. Hope... What does that mean? So I'm doing this on wait, where is this? Wait, let's see. Iterating. Uh Yeah, you've got your right. Wow, wow. So why did it do that? <laughs> well, I hate that. Thanks. <laughs> um, what do you want your raid message to be? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if just, anyone... Yeah, I don't know if anybody's in chat, but... I don't know. Just just say hi. I don't... Hi. My brain's not working anymore. I need to, That's like, fair. get something up on my computer to finish this fucking raid. Because my whole computer's the worst. <laughs> my whole- the whole thing is just the most bad. We can't um, leave. Yeah. Honestly, I've never done anything like this, so like, for a first time, this was amazing. Chaos monster. Oh my gosh. Okay, let, let's- I can finish this raid with my browser. Oh, yeah. Is it going? It's gone. Okay. Where yeah. Perfect. Oh gosh, I need to go to Blob's channel and see. <laughs> that him. Okay, let me stop streaming. Perfect.